wanna stuff Turkey Tom. I wanna stuff him with my cup. The man of the hour. Jet, what's, what's up, up buddy? How's it going? Hey. Very good. To be honest, having a good time. Life is good. That's good. That's good. You're on hear. stream, by the way. Is that the official way that the, the YouTube people go? The first thing they say, Tom, you're on stream. I'm on stream. Mm hmm. Yeah, that is what they say. Well, just to let me know not to say like any, you know, bad words or something. Yeah. Because I, I could I could hear it, man. It was coming. You were you were about to say it. <laughs> I'm actually on stream, too. I'm actually on stream, too. So. Oh, really? We're both. Listen, it's a dual stream. Obviously, I have 300,000 people watching. You only got like 10. So, you know, obviously, there's a disparity Freaking there because I'm. So I'm with the XQC level of fame, you know. You actually have more viewers than me right now, and um, I'm kind of shit. My fans. Anyway, um, so we're live. I played Sons of the Forest to get acclimated, and I died really? within like 20 minutes. So yeah, so did I though. Don't feel bad. It took yeah. me a while to get kind of decent. Here's the thing though. Um, in the server I'm in, I have two of my friends. They're not in our. They're not in our voice chat, but they're in the server. Okay. So we have we have like we got some muscle. You know what oh, I'm saying? going on already okay you have some experience yeah, yeah. people we okay. got a base we got a fire for you we have nice look nice. man this we is like minecraft piece like of dried life, meat. right yeah it's like camping you ever heard yeah. of this there's this hobby these people do it's called they call it camping yeah i've heard of it i've never really done it to be honest with you me either but um i'm learning a lot about this hobby that people do called camping by playing this game it's it's impressive frankly but it's camping with like uh like cannibals right that's the deal yeah yeah cannibal camping i like was playing the game and i saw this and like this like naked black man like on the ground like running around i was like what the f going on oh yeah and then he started like hitting my like reach guy with the light and i was like what's going on there <laughs> And then I like I like killed a few of them, and then one of them like I thought he killed me, and then I woke up in like their camp, and then I untied myself. Oh and, yeah! And then I walked to the shore because someone was, someone in the chat was like, "Go in the boat. There's a boat with a gun." And I was like, "Okay, I'll go there to get the gun." Yeah. So I went there, and then I tried swimming to it, and halfway I just got like shark. a like a shark, and it was like, "You died. You lasted one minute in the game. You're dead." <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> they just shot me. So I got destroyed yeah bro if you if you play solo you get like one free life you get you die once and then you wake up in a camp and then the next time you die it's like game over game over yeah so it's pretty but i'm with like multiplayer you can just keep dying and keep respawning in a camp mm -hmm. which is helpful it's like a little more forgiving mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um it's easy mode gotcha. but uh i'll run you i'll run you through the the basics and everything sure how do i join your, your thing actually I'll invite you real quick. Okay, I got cool. to. What's your name on Steam your... so I can accept your? Thing? Oh, it's God of Farts. <laughs> yeah, that always has to be you. something farted. <laughs> yeah, God of Farts. <laughs> With everyone I know, it's like, oh, their name's like Jason, and it's like, oh, what's your name on Steam? It's like poop. Sniffer, <laughs> big butt, black guy, Lizzo, yeah. sucking, B dis disturbed. BBW Lizzo poopy. Yeah, like what? What's going on? What's going on? <laughs> what's going on, guys? Just make your name like Brad. If your name is Brad, your name on Steam is Brad too. Okay. Yeah, yeah. There's probably there's probably a thousand God of Farts on Steam. And there's one Brad. You'd think it'd be opposite. <laughs> exactly. God. Did you accept my thing here? I just accepted it. So I've accepted the God of okay. Farts. Nice. In the inner Welcome. circle. <laughs> Welcome to the God of Farts zone, man. Thank you. I'm pr it. I'm proud of that name. I think it's I think it's perfect, man. Thanks, and there's man. the and there's the first request. There it awesome. is. Awesome. Um, let me see real quick. I'm about to invite you. My uh, my friend finds he finds poop humor very funny. Dude. Um, he um I find it funny too, but he kind of got he he got canceled a little bit. Okay, he's in some drama because of his sense of humor. He got poop canceled. He got poop. Well, because I'll explain <laughs> in a sec once I'm in the game. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. How do I accept the? Uh, okay, maybe I can just click on your thing and then join the game. You're in. It's kind of far. Small hell with a ten. Join game. Thank there you, man. Go. Much love from Roseville, California. Hey, much love from the forest, man, because that's where I'm at right now. Okay, cool. I'm in the lobby now, waiting for host Sick. to start the game. I've started the game. So I have this friend named Chip. Chip will dip in. Yeah. He, finds, he finds the fart poop humor very funny. And he took it too far? He was like, yeah, so he was like trolling this person who, um, they were like with him. Like, I think they were making fun of him or something. And so yeah. he sent them this picture he found of someone with, um, like holding their in like the bathroom like uh, he just, it was yeah. a picture he found of like someone like in front of the toilet just like holding it when like in frame and the person it kind of looked like his hand so they thought it was him yeah and now over the past few weeks everyone's calling him the the big p word because they're saying like you oh. sent it to a minor because the kid was like literally one day from turning like 18 like, oh you my sent god fetish porn 
to a child or whatever. Um, That's messed up, bro. Yes, it is. But uh, one of my friends did the same thing. They were like, um, they they got they got mad at this group of people in this group chat in this Discord, and they mm -hmm. said <laughs> they just said like, uh, let's call it poop P orn. <laughs> P orn. Oh, that's my TOS aversion. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, <laughs> I'm ret how did I? <laughs> yeah, Since, okay, obviously, I know what you're saying. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Poop Peorn. <laughs> <laughs> Poop Peorn. Mm -mm -mm. so he sent it to like, own the libs, you know, like just to make them mad. Right. And they, uh, yeah, they, they tried like, they did a mini cancellation on them. Yeah. For, like uh, do for, that. for doing that. Man, we gotta, people gotta learn. That's not the way to get even. People gotta learn. Listen, a little nothing wrong with a little poop pee or okay? <laughs> nothing to get mad over. Nothing to get so well, hey, everyone's man. so pressed. All okay? right, lib. These libs <laughs> can't handle a little poop. <laughs> Dude, Vosh, don't send him poop peorn. He can't handle it. Okay, don't send him. Does poop he like it? No, he doesn't like his... it. He likes horse stuff. Don't send him. Oh, don't send him the real? poop peorn. That is real. I've heard that, that before, but that's saying real. that that's not a joke. It's real lore. It's not a joke. But obviously, you know, to us, I mean, who are we to judge? Considering that we're into poop peorn, I mean, you know, can we can we talk that much? You know, about it. Well, the really the establishment, the Soros and the establishment don't want us talking about it. That's why they they have a very strict no poop peorn exactly rule on these on these uh, establishment you know these establishment social media sites. You, if, you, when you know the truth about it, you can't even tell anyone. Exactly, it's just to keep you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're 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 under under constant threat of censorship. You know, people talk about you know vaccine stuff on YouTube. Yeah, they say you can't say this, can't say that. What about poop pee orange stuff? Every time I talk about it, <laughs> channel deleted. I don't even get a strike. My channel gets deleted as soon as I talk about it. Yeah. Disgusting. Fucking disgusting. Um, so I'm looking at the map here, and it looks like you're right next to my friends over there. Yeah, there's, uh, there's some weird stuff in the forest. There's like a guy with his... It's like a guy with like his rib cage open. Like, I don't oh, know. you gotta go eat his bones. I feel like I should not go near him. He, he looks like uh, some kind of Silent Hill thing. There's someone named G. I'm gonna go to G. Is that you? G is me. Okay. Yeah. And I, is G, G right next to K? G? I see M. M and K looks like are behind me. And G is... Kind yeah, of, yeah. Oh, there's something coming for me. I gotta go. I gotta go. I'm G. I wonder what your angle is. I'm like so close to death that I can't leave the house. Okay. I'm and it's winter to too. Okay, yeah. Once you get here, you're safe. In general, if you're running, they can't catch you. Okay, just keep running. Uh, a uh, couple chats here. Fred Hyde 88 thank you for the 10. Pee pee poo poo la mau la mau. Thank you. And Boosie Fade with the $2.79. Now I can buy Doritos. Thank you, man. Much appreciated. For real. I can go over some Doritos. I only know in the chat mentioned food that I don't have. In this yeah. Right now. And then it gets me triggered. It triggers my body dysmorphia, first of all. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it triggers well, my, my cutting habit when I hear about yeah. that, how I can't have Doritos. I don't want to. It makes me self age. Can't do that, man. <laughs> Past that. Past that chapter. This game is just like real life. It's telling me I'm tired and cold. Yeah. This is what always happens when I stream. This is Boston, Boston, Rhode Island simulator. Boston Winter Simulator. When is that game coming out? <laughs> it's just, it's just a series of like uh, quick time interactions with bums. Yeah. Like just asking you for like uh, asking for change in like a Dunkin' cup. No matter over what. And over again. Like you're on your phone. And your phone is telling you where to go, but every time you get home, it like tells you it's on the opposite side of the map. You get home to yeah. a nice like Boston suburb. You get there. Who are you? And then you look at the map, and it's like on the other side of the city again. You just go back and forth, constantly trying to get home. That's it, man. Oh, you're uh, here. Oh, I'm hold up. I just what'd you do? <laughs> My girlfriend you full just came the whole in. Time? She was like, "You weren't uh, streaming your game for the past five minutes." Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah, that's classic. Who is Welcome. this? This what is my girlfriend. Fuck? Look, man, just hear me out, okay? I know she's got a weird body thing going on, but I love her. Can okay? she give your whole <laughs> with all her limbs? <laughs> Look, if she's got three legs, that means she's got two. See what I'm saying? Yeah, no, no. Anamorphically, you can like capture people in this game. No, oh, no, that's like, um, I guess in the story, there's like, in the first cutscene when you have to go through the, um, you have to go through the laptop, she's one of the VIPs you have to secure. Oh. I, don't, I don't know what the story is, but she's like the daughter of some, um, yeah, as far as the lore goes. Oh, sh I caught him. I caught a, um, up on the hill there, one of my traps went off. I caught one of the cannibals. He's on fire out there. That's crazy. Oh, yeah, but yeah, crazy. you find her in the woods and then you have to tame her and then you can give her pistols and she'll defend you. She's pretty good. I'm waiting for uh, the morning to come and then we can like actually can venture shit. out. Okay. Yeah. Well, she's doing but some crazy sh Dude, I think your girl likes me. What the hell? 
Yeah, she honestly she cheated on me with another <laughs> with my buddy over there. What I'll try and wearing? get her attention. What is, what is she wearing right now? That's Lululemon, like bro. A <laughs> She's wearing Lululemon. <laughs> She's got Balenci. She's got valid Balenci. I was just listening to the uh, the Joey song, the one about being wiped, wiped down. Yeah. Yeah. Balenci. A walk it to Balenci make him wipe me down. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good. Song. I actually like it. I didn't really like his stuff before that song. I like that. Was there a cow? Well, he. By now, in this point in Joey's career, he has, like, so many songs that, that he has stuff that appeals to, like, every... Like, if you like pop, more poppy rap stuff, or if you like kind of minimal mm -hmm. stuff. Um, and then he has, like, even if you go back, way back, he has, like, little B-type stuff. Mm -hmm. He's got a bunch of different stuff going. Yeah, that song was good, and uh, I like to bump I'm in my car. Oh, like yeah, bro. Parking lot. I'm a dude. Ba, 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 ba. Is it bump? I'm it's yeah, I don't know. Crazy. It's just, it's like yeah, life. this is, guys, I know this is thrilling. We're, uh, we're waiting for the morning to come because we're scared. How will we ever keep warm? Oh, my bud's here. We can sleep. We can sleep. Yeah, is there a bed? All right. Sleep? Yeah, you go to the bed and hold down Z. Okay. Okay, I and the, my, Yeah, yeah. Just, just hold it. We all got to hit it at once. Some other buddies, my oh, other buddies shoot. coming up. Okay. Yeah. There we go. Now we can hit it. Somebody didn't press Z. There we go. Can we so start buying our fans of... monitors to stream our stuff <laughs> yeah, multiple times? Yeah. In the yeah. We'll start doing Bitcoin giveaways. You guys can't see my other room. It's a whole room full of monitors of my own stream. That's every viewer. I have. Uh, just keep an keep an eye on your um on your like food and water meters. Yes, yeah, I'm cold and wet. Yeah. What we can do is we can go sit by the fire and take care of that real quick. And then I think me and you should we should just go explore. I want to just show you around. Sure, that sounds good. Get out of the base. And the rock and I'm rock. gonna make a fire real quick. Awesome. Teamwork. Gotta find sticks. We need sticks. Oh, you got someone's head here. Some deck another head as well. If you chop the heads off of your enemies and put them on stakes, what it does is it. Uh, intimidates it intimidates the cannibals and they're less likely to uh oh, mess with you gotcha that the cool thing about this game is the ai is really neat like the more you fight the cannibals the more they'll come back so you're kind of encouraged to de-escalate with the ai you want to like uh win unless they're directly fighting you you don't want to fight them if you go too bloodthirsty they will punish you you know what i mean okay so there's mechanics to it it's not just yeah yeah hard brain the AI is really cool in this game. That's the thing I'm impressed by the most. I'm not even going to say what just happened. I can't even say what, what just happened. I'm not even going <laughs> to want to talk about it. I already know what happened. Did you walk into one of the stakes? No. <laughs> no. Those aren't those aren't for uh the those aren't for the cannibals. Those are by uh, Tom Traps. <laughs> You got me. Now I'm in one of their camps, and they're listening to like you too. All right, they're I'm coming to you. Play. Oh, I got a knife now. Yeah, you can you can have your axe. I'll show you how to craft a spear too. Let's just go do some looting. Uh, Mitchell Black with a twenty. Hey, Jay, have you ever thought of leaving the hood and homesteading in a deep Maine forest? Thank you for your service, Turkey Tom. Yes, guys, thank Turkey Tom for being here. I Look, I've done these Wednesday J Jets plays a few times now. It's more interesting when I have a friend here with me, so we do appreciate him coming no out problem. tonight. Thanks it for having me on. Very cool. It's an honor. Yeah, man. And we're having a blast. Uh, I see your stream clips, and I recommend it a lot. I watched one today about you living in Nashville and finding a schizophrenic man who believes he's being Oh, gay man. Stops. Yeah, dude. That was... That was awesome. I'll I'll re recap that quickly for the chat. Um, yeah, when I lived in Nashville, there was a there's this YouTuber that I followed. It's so funny calling like a schizo like guy a YouTuber. He's a guy with he like had 20 a YouTube channel. Subscribers. Yeah, and yeah, he made content. But um, yeah, he was he would he would have like one to two subscribers. He would get banned for TOS uh, within like 48 hours every time. And if you wanted to find him, you had to know his like language. You know what I mean? You had to know the how he titled his videos. Uh, Dixie pimp, predator creep stuff like that you had to know his lingo so you would just search by upload date and find him um oh i found a camp over here if you want to come to me sure I'm on my way i'm uh harming the indigenous population let's go that sounds fun i want to do that would i get in anyway, like controversy for stalking a mentally ill man would everyone be mad at me for that yeah i it seemed it was pretty unanimous when i told the story people liked oh one hit i'm dead it's over what the hell it's it's so over it's fucking wait over. we're so back we're so respond one of them started wait they killed me too wow did we both just get one of them started crying when you died they got down on their knees and they were like crying and then i tried to kill them and they killed me instantly wait did i just spawn back at the camp i just died in i think i did i don't know where you're at but there's this m guy that came and he's taking care of stuff yeah, oh, that's, yeah. i'm next to you holy shit yeah we're at the same camp what the hell? they just killed us Yo. and like tied us up instantly bro are we the same yeah camp let's camp? go 
Oh, my buddy is, dude, thank God. Thanks for the help. Oh! That feel when you spawn at the same cannibal camp as your bro. Yeah, it's a good feeling. Ben Dover <laughs> says, I'm disappointed in you, do better. Slacker says, go watch Oni Plays. I'm a oh, son part of the forest. Part of uh, Mitchell Black's question that I just realized I ignored, sorry there. Uh, he said, would you ever, have you ever thought of leaving the hood and homesteading in a deep main forest? Uh, personally, yeah, man. My, uh, my buddy, Mr. WPS here, uh, who just saved our by the way, before stream, I gotta turn this music off. This music is not You're playing play. play. <laughs> we were talking about um how he's my buddy here, Mr. WPS, who's in the game with us. He's like starting a farm and like getting chickens and stuff. That sounds very appealing to me long term. I I feel like I have more work to do in these sick liberal cities. But uh I don't know, maybe long term it would be cool to uh to get a little plot of land, man, and just cut down play the force in real life. What about you, Tom? Would you uh would you ever go woods mode? You kinda already are um, woods mode up there in Maine. It's sounds nice i don't know I'm, I'm i live in the suburbs so i'm not quite i'm like yeah. a fake woods mode it, it, the idea of it sounds really nice but uh as yeah. far as the work that, that goes into it i don't know if i'm ready for that i'm like a soy dork who uh you know plays video games and makes youtube videos so i don't know if i'm ready yeah. for the, the homestead life i like 7-eleven you know me too man i love 7-eleven <laughs> i like cumberland farms a lot um, so I'm not, I don't know if I'm ready for, uh, yeah. for the real farm <laughs> i like fair. pepperidge farms a lot of people who do do the homesteading type stuff, they, they're often LARPing. Like, most people still go to the uh, grocery store. Like, mm -hmm. you have to be really deep in that life to, to be completely self-sufficient. And it is a lot of work. Yeah, I for don't sure. Know. Maybe if I get rich. If I, if I get, yeah, like, super yeah, yeah. rich, then, like, I'll figure it out because I won't have to worry about money. But first, I got to get really rich. Then maybe. We just got to do Reddit text-to-speech story time videos. Yeah, that's what we can't tell them. So you guys tell them about that channel. I can't let them <laughs> that's, know. How, we're I we're billionaires off of Reddit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't wait until there's ads on how to make that, like drop shipping ads. Oh my god. That's the next the Andrew hustle. Tate uh, modern yeah, wealth creation yeah. method. Reddit videos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, KD Wiggler your says, what's your favorite monster? I'm addicted and will die without monster. I haven't actually had monster in uh, quite a while. There was a time when that was my that was my life my life serum, my my nectar, okay? It's like drinking from the fountain of youth, but these days I try to stay away from it. And coffee. So you're clean. Yeah, I guess I'm clean. Well, you know, they say uh, never say you quit, you know, you just stop. Yeah, now, facts. So. That's the, that's the deal. That's super true. Yeah. Um, I also did the same thing. I moved away from energy drinks. I, right now, I'm just doing coffee. Yeah. Coffee with no sugar. Oh, with no oh, sugar? Man, I could never it. do that. That's Really? No. I'll go milk, no sugar. I need I need both. I need half of it to be milk yeah. and half of it to be sugar and then like a drop of coffee maybe. <laughs> and there's some <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. I can't do it without that. A uh, couple of chats here I want to read. Fred Hyde 88. Willie, I thought he was from Memphis. Uh, yeah, he is from Memphis. Willie Bush was his, is his uh, actual name, but he goes by many things. Disco Ricky, um, Predator, Predator Pimp. You know, he's, he's had 10,000 channels. But yeah, Willie, that's the guy. We're talking about the same one. Um, one more here from HGTV Executive. Welcome back, man. He says, at a previous job, there was a schizophrenic guy that worked in the warehouse. Randomly thought out the day he would make Michael Jackson noises like, hee hee, really loud. That's awesome. That's crazy man well <laughs> yeah i'm the predator of the prey that is hiding <laughs> were you a fan of that guy mario judah dude yeah man i don't know what happened to him i watched some video by this like video essay guy kind of like my genre but for music and he uh yeah, yeah. he speculated that he's like trying to run out his contract or something because he doesn't like it just yeah, really that is a that is a common play when when you're in a bad contract. You just you basically just filibuster and do no work for like three years, and then they yeah. like let you go early. That's what he thinks is the deal. So maybe that is it. Was Jesus. that Patrick CC? Yeah, it was him. Yeah. Video? Yeah, yeah. It was a good video. He's all right. I don't like his videos face sometimes, but the rest of it. Yeah, crazy. it's crazy how when you show your face, you like you kind of cut your audience in half or something. Yeah. Half your audience is gonna look at your face and just hate it, no matter how like pretty you are what you look like somebody's gonna take like offense to what your face looks like yeah. the P i was thinking about that the other day like the png tuber stuff is kind of genius yeah because then you just don't offend anyone like you know yeah. you turn on your camera people can see <laughs> pores and acne and shit. exactly you yeah. uh you keep it to the character still it's just like nobody even knows oh you know? oh my god yo we gotta punish him with a with a sharp weapon all right now we gotta eat his bones oh he's still alive Die! All right, sick. I'm gonna give you the stuff to make a spear real quick. Okay, you down? cool. Cool, I'm down. All right, so you're gonna need tape. Let's see. Let's see if I got tape. Tape, and you have a knife. Okay. Pick up these sticks on the ground, just in case you don't have any, right next to the body. Another one. I, I got him. You gotta press I in your inventory. 
Oh, yeah. Yeah. And then go to right clicking will combine items. Um, put two sticks, one blue tape, and your knife, and then press the gear icon. And then you'll have a spear. Knife. And then the tape, yeah. I think I only have one stick, though. Maybe I gotta get another. I can give you a stick. You look like Denzel. Very handsome. <laughs> Did you know that? Yeah. No, I didn't. I thought I was Latino. I think. I thought I was a, a Latin fellow. You may be more brown, more Arab. I don't know. I think you're. I think you're black. Oh. All right. I gave you the stick. I'm gonna catch up on a couple chats while you're crafting. Uh, Miko X Miko says crypto talk slash help. Um, damn, HGTV executive, thank you for the five, man. I appreciate it. Uh, crypto talk and help. I don't know, man. I, oh, <laughs> bad guys, bad guys coming. Three, full squad. We should run. All right, let's get out of here. Uh, yeah, yeah, let's Just go down the hill. Oh, we're going to die if we go down here. This way, this way. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I used to do this when I was a kid. The funnest thing was to run sideways on a hill in an uneven yeah. way that hurt my feet. That was like the most fun. Permanently damage your ankles. <laughs> I can have not walked right since I was nine. Yeah. Uh, crypto talk slash help. Honestly, man, um, if you believe in crypto, just uh, with with whatever the asset you think is going to work is, I would just dollar cost average. Uh, I don't I don't know if crypto is going to go up. No one does. Anyone who says they know the investment thing that's going to work is probably lying, and they probably have a discount code somewhere that you didn't notice. Um, they're, they're Amazon affiliate for, uh, the Shiba Inu coin that you're considering aping your FTX your guys on. get in on the bottom. It's only going up. Okay. FTX. There we go, man. Check it out. It, it's only up from here, guys. It's only up from here. We shook out the weak hands. Um, All the cowards used, are gone now. I, I, what I would say is, um, I don't know how, how I'm thinking of investing is like for, for a recession. Uh, I, that's what I think is coming. I don't know if crypto will go up or, or down in a serious recession, but whatever you think the, the move is, it's it's about consistency and not like big moves all at once, like not panicking. I would say dollar cost average. Agree to yourself that every week you're going to put, I don't know, 30 bucks in whatever you think the thing is, whether it's silver or a stock that you think is going to go up or crypto. Just consistency every week, doing the thing that you agreed to do, keeping your own promise to yourself. I think that's the best way to get results long term. Your girl has a gun. Is she about to give me head? Yeah, she's about to put a gun to my head and uh <laughs> I can see her nipples <laughs> her 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 Balenciaga. TOS! TOS! Her Balenci! <laughs> can you not say Balenciaga? <laughs> nah, I just think it's funnier to call it Balenci. Balenci? It's so like <laughs> Yo dude, I think your girl's nipples are poking through her Balenci. True. They're poking through her Balenci. True, true, homie. Yeah, yeah. She bad. She bad though, right? You see those? <laughs> Yeah, she got the two. animals are so angry. They're mad. I Crispy feel like Cave. No, go you, ahead. Go, you go ahead. You go ahead. Okay. Crispy Cave with the 15 Canadian. Have you ever heard of Hemo Korth? Him and his wife are two of the last people who live in the Arctic Circle. They are at least 1,500 miles from the next person. Vice did a video on him. He is pretty based. And that's how I feel. I feel like Hemo Korth right now out in the forest. But uh, no, I've not heard of that. That sounds cool though. That sounds like a uh, Vice. Vice has potential to do cool stuff sometimes. I don't think they're totally blown. I don't think they're totally gone. That sounds like something that they couldn't possibly mess up. So I'll check that out, man. Thank you for the rec. What were you saying? I was just going to say my current thought on the crypto thing is I think a lot of people are too focused on making money and like some get rich thing and they should be more focused on just getting a better job. That's probably going to be better than investing right now anyway if you don't know what you're doing. Just try to focus I, on moving upwards, you know? I agree. It's it's more um, rather than like fretting about where you should put your one grand or like your two, you have 2,000 saved. It's like, we, we get these questions a lot on this channel because, oh my God, man, these little bush people, man. Yeah, they're so annoying. We get these questions a lot and I agree with what you said. Uh, and the thing, like, I realize I'm like young. I don't necessarily always know what I'm talking about with finance, but when I hear Nick and Sam, that's what they say. They say, just get a better job. Worry more about how much you're making per week increasing your wage than um investing what you have like right now maybe think about getting a recession proof job that people always need yeah yeah trades point. man how do you the inventory is i right yeah inventory is i i keep pressing it but nothing's happening it really might be bugged um it's this game came out like two days ago so there might be bugs uh, you can okay. leave and come back i'll invite you back if you want okay mm -hmm. sure um but while i'm on the subject of finance you need to be buying these guys i'm gonna keep it up keep it a buck with you this is not financial advice. This is a financial demand. Where are you showing? Right? A silver bar. <laughs> You're real on the silver shit. I know you are. Yeah, I'm dead. I'm dead. Ass. I think it's. I don't know. I don't know, but I think I think it's gonna work out well. I hope you're right. I hope, you know, I hope it's, it's okay for you. I don't. I don't invest in like anything currently. Uh, yeah. And I have like a retirement account or whatever, and I have so I'm yeah. not invested. But I'm not investing in. A, I guess stocks a little bit, but. Yeah. 
Um, in general, I just put it all in the savings account. That's about it. I mean, just stacking cash is good too. Mm -hmm. um, that's another thing I hear often is like, just get cash, just get cash. That's all you need. Because uh, like when, when a recession hits or something like 2000, 2008, 9, 10, those were the best times to buy a house. Mm -hmm. There were deals, man. There's houses that are going for 300, 400K now that were like being panic sold at 60 in 2010. Yeah. And I think there will be an, uh, a point where that can happen again. So, And what are you going to buy that in cash? You know what I mean? Exactly. Just having yeah. cash is good. Tom Foolery for five says, yo, is that Jet Neptune from the Autistic Boys Money Clan? I believe it is. Hello. Hello, Tom Foolery. Now the most satisfying thing about this game, Tom, is the oh, sh is the wood cutting. The wood cutting. It's, yeah, everyone's yeah, telling me to build a cabin. It's super. Uh, it's very friendly. It's stem friendly. Okay, that's good. It's good for stemming. I haven't had a lot of stemming today, so I was hoping I could get it out maybe after stream. But you can stem max. If I can, stem. if I can stem stem max on stream, <laughs> that'd be good. Yeah, bro. That'd be ideal. I'm just looking at my buddies right now. They're uh. Just doing some real deforestation up on the hill of the base. All right, we're back in the server. Hey. Hi. Right. Okay, inventory not glitching anymore. Perfect. <laughs> can you get sticks from like cutting down trees, or, like small you can, trees? Because it's okay. So first of all, because it's winter, items that you see on the ground are kind of hidden in snow, so they're harder to see. You can find them on the ground, or uh, you pull out your axe and you hit the, those thin trees. When you hit the thin trees, like two or three sticks will just fall to the ground. And that's okay. like a, the most reliable way to find them right now. Do you just get an axe automatically? Because in my inventory, they gave me a knife. Is that the same? Oh, okay. There's a little bag in your inventory. Oh, okay. Wait, it's in the bag. I remember this now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Dude, we're under such assault at the base right now. There's so many. They're coming. So they're many not, They're cannibals. not intimidated. I'm just like building right next to them. Oh, sh I'm going to die. It's so over. Don't worry. I'm coming with backup. Hey. My little axe. Listen, it's not I over. need it. I need the backup. Oh, my God. You've been working on any uh, interesting, cool projects lately? Anything exciting? Oh, dude. Getting your juices going? Ye um, yeah, man. I have. Um, will you answer the same question after I answer mine? I want to yeah. know what you're working on, too. Okay, um, so I'm d working on this reality show we're doing called Fish Tank. Yeah, okay. And you guys told me about this, and I, I saw a little bit about it, yeah. And it's starting pretty, pretty soon. Um, basically, how Fish Tank works is... It's a full house where every bedroom in the house is rigged up with a live stream security camera that can be aimed, pointed, zoomed by the operator, uh, mic'd up fully, live 24 seven. There's no privacy for the contestants whatsoever. And they have to complete like weekly challenges to stay in the game. And the grand prize is, I don't think I can legally say what the grand prize is yet, but it's, let's just say it's like, you wanna win. You know what I mean? Okay, so people, um, are, people are not gonna wanna, they're not gonna have. No, nah, I think once they get in there and they, they see how fried and insane it is, they're like, man, I, I just, I'm already in, a, I'm already a weekend. I got to win this, you know? Do you have well, ideas for who you're going to put, put in it? I think we, you guys talked about Daniel Larson at one point. Yeah, I considered that, but I think he would just be, uh, man, I wish Daniel Larson would, he said he was interested. Mm -hmm. He said he would do it, but I just thought about, I was like, it just seemed like the wrong thing to do. The he's, problem with him is, uh, he's really hard to wrangle. Like, uh, yeah, exactly. he'd, you, he'd have to have, like, you, you guys have to hire someone to be his dad at all times. Yeah, he's... that's not the... And I think he's really funny, and I think he would bring viewers, and people would... He would be really funny for the show, but I think he he's just too subject to meltdowns and breaking drywall. Um, yeah, he is. So it... For, I think we just decided it wasn't it wasn't worth having him on. Fair enough. But I I hope someone I hope he gets some sort of uh I want to see the next chapter for him. You know what I mean? Even if I can't provide it. Yeah. He, yeah. Uh, fish tank. He, he, there's a lot of updates I see about him because I made the video. I get a lot of people. Yeah. Me. Apparently he. I liked uh, your video on him. Thank you. Yeah, it did pretty well. Yeah. Like, he like lost his phone or something. Um, this is yeah. the most recent thing I heard, and he's been he's been like using other people's phones to go on TikTok or something <laughs> and post. But yeah, that's it's so just, funny, bro. His, his life's a train wreck. It's kind of sad. <laughs> it's a little yeah, sad. Yeah, I just, I didn't want to. I just didn't want to add to the sadness. It, it seemed too uh, exploitative or something. How, yeah. I, I'm not sure. I think he would have a good time, and it. I don't know. Again, just, mother it, it fucker, mother you fucker. No. I ran into the stake. Again. Oh, did you? Are you dead? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. I was just walk. I was like, duh, I made it to the camp. I'm gonna walk in. Yep. I'm, uh, here, I'm gonna come, I'll come give you an escort. No, it's okay. I'll, uh, I got it. It's okay. It's okay. All right. All right. All right. It's okay. Thank you, though. Hey.
Hey, it's a co-op game, man. I'm just trying to cooperate here. If you want to escort, you can. I just, uh, listen, I want to inconvenience you. I know you're stimming right now. Yeah, dude, I'm stimming really hard placing these logs. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, fish tank sounds good. Yeah, though. That's going to be awesome. It's it's super risky, and it's, but I I think our current, like, business, like, how, how we're thinking of things is uh just trying, like, a little experiments, just seeing what works, trying different things. And eventually, when you do high-risk things long enough, one of them will yield, like, a crazy reward. Yeah, ten um, times the reward th that one low risk thing would, for sure. Yeah, exactly. So I'm. I think the fish tank is the one. I think that's the one that could get viral success because it's it's such a crazy idea that maybe people have thought of, but it's uh, logistically impossible to pull off. Um, you so the user is like the security guard. Like you have access to all these people's privacy. You you can like super chat and um <laughs> and make voice messages go in the house. You you hear someone talking about another player in the other room mm -hmm. you can uh you can buy an upgrade called a wiretap and it reroutes one room's audio into the other Holy it's shit. like you can play it however you know what i mean there's that's gonna be one of those kind of like a uh, game streamers are gonna love to watch like streamers exactly are gonna love to stream, yeah. snipe it and steal your content but you know it'll be more uh, well, more viewers for that's ultimately that's part of the that, that was like kind of designed into it like we want it to be we want streamers to be able to uh the same way games kind of cater to uh streamers now and how like part of their marketing mm -hmm. um we're, we're kind of thinking the same thing with that cool man that's cool i'm excited for that <clears throat> like what about you any like uh that stuff yeah i hope people will like it man it's i'm so i'm like so obsessed with the idea like once once we wrap here i'm, I'm going back to work on it mm -hmm. um it's like non-stop what about you though uh any new any new documentary subjects that you're willing to yeah so to speak about i've got the next uh the next six written right now um i actually just i wrote one which i hadn't been writing them in a while so good to, to yeah. write one um but i wrote one about rice gum oh there we go and i uh i kind of like i kind of actually really like him and want to be him and want his life um, yeah and i uh i used to hate him when i was like younger i was like i dubs rocks but now yeah. i look back and i'm like he won he actually one. Um, yeah. I was listening to his rap lyrics, and <laughs> his response to, to to Gabby Hanna when he, like, smashed her phone was to be like, she got a big nose, I did not hit her, I don't like her clothes, she's broke, I'm rich, I got hoes. With iDubs, yeah. when he made this, like, super serious, like, call-out video to him, he just, like, got a bunch of black people in a room to be like, nah, he said the M-word, that's not cool. And then he made a rap song, he was like, you look like you have, he was like, you look like your sister is the person you have sex with. How can I be mad, bitch, I sleep in a mansion and he kind of was right yeah and i like yeah. i kind of like him and i kind of think that he's actually really cool and i think that uh as i grow as i grow older yeah i like people who are more and i think rice comes really yeah cool. but he's actually he actually like i unironically like, i'm not even joking i think he's really cool <laughs> and i, and I want to like be I, him. there's no way that he there's like there's no possibility that he hasn't already thought that like oh this is cringy or something you know like he's i i feel like he he knows I feel like he knows what he's doing. Like maybe he knows it's technically cringy to to act the way he acts, but he's still like, well, I can be cringy because I'm rich and I'm a boss, so yeah. I'm just gonna do it. No, yeah, yeah. And I that, think he... that's it's kind of like confidence. It's kind of cool. He is like people say like, oh, he's just playing character. I, he's kind of playing character, but he, he's also kind of dumb. But I kind of like that. Yeah. Though. Like I don't, I don't. He's just like smashing Gabby Hanna's phone. Like I would do that too. Do you, do you remember that whole yeah. thing? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. It was like super if someone, funny. I remember back then thinking like, "Oh, it's assault." Now that I think about it, it's like if someone filmed me at a party, like I, I would smash their phone. Yeah, he goes to with a camera, and he was asking her to stop filming. Like he, okay, she she claimed that he hit her. According to everyone else who was there, he didn't hit her. So I'll just I'll yeah. just go on the limb and say he didn't hit her. I did not hit her. I did not. Um, you know, smashing her phone. Like, well, if you film someone without their consent and they ask you to stop and you keep going, maybe you deserve to have your. Smash. I don't care. Yeah, what do you think would happen like in the Bronx if you got up in some like New York guy's face with a phone? Exactly, like how would yeah. they react? He's just being a G, bro. Like you dude in Massachusetts. Don't... You dude. Yeah, I'll yeah. break your smart phone. I don't care. Yeah, exactly. Smart more like dumb phone the way you acting. Um, yeah, your phone dumb now because I broke it. But like he just I don't know, he just was cool. Yeah. Well that's a risky video to make because I feel like YouTube has a problem with like player hating a bit. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying Rice comes a player, but I uh, I am saying that like there there's it's it's easy to like bandwagon and hate on someone who has money. Um yeah. and and it's hard to shake it's hard to like um convince people to just like remove themselves the like the the underlying 
I don't want to say people are jealous, but it's like obviously pe the average viewer who sees a guy just, like you that, just can't relate to it, right? There's no way you can relate. You can't. To yeah, it. it's hard. It's hard to relate to because like the person watching the video, they just got off work, working a job that they probably don't earn enough money in. Like everyone's kind of underpaid, you know. They they got off work, they want to defrag and watch some YouTube, and then they see someone like acting spoiled or cocky, and it's yeah. it's hard to relate to. You know what I mean? I mean, there, there's no but, doubt. Um, like some some level, of the flexing was like a little gay. Like he would do this thing where he was like. I came from nothing and now I made it to the top <laughs> and it's like he said yeah. that sincerely and like he didn't he didn't really do that like he was like a yeah. like, a, like a relatively like wealthy Asian kid growing up in like California yeah who like faked like a hood accent like that's crazy yeah. I don't know. There are other things about him where I'm just like, he was actually cool. Like, um, if you watch the, this is going to be a, a real hot take. People are going to be bad. Okay. Us. So back in the, the content cop days, like one of the biggest problems people had with rice gum was when he was like, to the victim, he was like, did it feel good though? Right? Yeah. I'm going to go on, I'm going to say, I, I'm not, I'm not supporting or anything <laughs> but it's kind of it's kind of funny to say that it's kind of it's like it's it's so ridiculous to ask someone that yeah it's the craziest thing you could possibly say when someone said like yeah. as far if you were writing it like a sketch or like a comedy thing like that would be the punchline like it's insane and it's not like he said it's all victims he said it to one yeah and people are like so offended on her behalf they're like he should be criticized for it but it's like if you ask her she didn't care instead she like she like he he he's he was he was apologizing to her on stream she's like yeah i forgot you said that i didn't even know you said that but it's whatever yeah um and then like a year later when the content cop came out she like twerked on his crotch and did like a pole dance for him in the response video so clearly she didn't care anyway yeah and, yeah uh, people gotta learn to to like step off on their like how offended they feel if the per if the person that directly affected was not offended it's like first i have to be offended for you to be offended you're just like a guy in the comment section you know what i mean like, yeah you can't well, be offended because, for me like who is idubs to be mad at someone for being like insensitive you know especially like that was yeah. his whole brand you know so i don't know i just i look back at it and i think like rice got kind of a bad rap for a lot of that wasn't a big deal because he was a flexor. He was kind of a, like a douchebag, you know. He had the, the yeah. Range Rover, the Lambo. He did the cringy songs. I don't know. Like, people are like, he's bullying kids. Like, I thought bullying kids was cool. I thought, I thought yeah, we, bullying I thought kids is funny. Bullying kids is funny. That's how, yeah, that's how, uh, I don't know. That's what taught me to stop being a kid was being bullied. I got bullied into adulthood, you know exactly. what I mean? Now like, we repeat the, the cycle world of bullies. abuse. Yeah, we need to keep this abuse going. <laughs> Someone in chat said, I think Ian's diss track was much cringier than Rice Gums. I agree. Yeah. Look, like, he got Boyan yeah. Band and PewDiePie. Rice Gum, he didn't have any of these people. He just had a bunch of hoes, okay? Yeah. He just had his hoes. He's dedicated to the grind, okay? We don't need friends. You want to be rich? You need a YouTube channel. You need to bully children. You need to scam people with gambling websites. You need to be, your only friend is FaZe Banks, and you need hoes. And that's that's the dream. Success. Yeah, that's Man. how you know you made it. Yeah, I I mean, I'm excited for that video because it's no one has like attempted to recontextualize that stuff since it all went down. Like, I feel like it came to a consensus, mm -hmm. and everyone just like took it for what it was, and then they like left the topic. Like me personally, I haven't really thought about rice gum since all that stuff went down. Mm -hmm. So like now you you've like brought it back up in my mind, and it's been long enough that the um like the what's it called the statute of limitations al allows him to um which he could be he could be vindicated, he could be saved. Yeah, that is a good way. To put it though statute of limitations because there there is this period after like you know trauma goes down where it's like people stop caring about it they stop thinking about it but like they've already made up their mind and if you say anything to the contrary it's like yeah. just disregarded duck steady thank you for the two femboy 88 says the official chucky e. cheese twitter account blocked me today because i kept sending them death threats that little rat will pay all right shout out femboy 88 in chat thank you for the dono you triggered chucky e. cheese congratulations this person i you not femboy gets top comment on all of my videos on both of my channels it must be the username well their their profile picture is like edp like the shocked yeah. edp and everyone thought it was like a guy for the longest time and then they called into my stream they were like i'm in the park i'm a 16 year old girl and i love your videos and i was like Jesus. oh all right well, we gotta stop talking now but i'm glad you like the video <laughs> yeah yeah well thank um, well this is the last time we're ever speaking but yeah. uh, hey appreciate we, the support we can, we can never speak ever again but thank you for your your continued support um lamb bjorn with the 20 please get king cobra jfs on fish tank you would only have to fly him out you would have to fly him out for sure but it would be absolutely legendary 
Guys, I don't know who King Cobra JFS is. You don't? Tom, Tom is face palming right now because I'm sure that's a cardinal sin to be an <gasps> internet guy and not know who he is. No, but it's I, uh, I don't. You'd have to be more of a. That's like an underground lol cow kind of Kiwi Farms type person. You'd have to yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. They're, uh, they're, 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 they're like a more the name, wholesome lol cow. They're good. They're, they're funny. They're funny. If, if he's not like a problem person, if he's not like a, somebody who's going to break drywall and he's actually like kind of a good guy and he's entertaining, then yeah, sure. Uh, if someone could get me in contact with him, I would love to. Uh, have him on because that's not the first time i've heard that comment people want to see him he's a great addition it, he would be excellent he uh he's not evil he's not abrasive he hasn't done anything Good. evil or weird he's or he doesn't he, he does do a lot of weird stuff but he's just he's he's innocent he's innocent he's a yeah guy. yeah he's not like a bad guy no he's just funny he's he's like he's like chris chan before like chris got evil and yeah. uh, he probably won't get evil because he's been people have been following him online for like 10 years and he's still not a terrible dude so yeah definitely a good a good option i'd say there we go we got the cosign man i'll i'll look into that man thank you for suggesting that um right now i'm like in the ca the casting part like i'm working on that so it's perfect time i'll, I'll try and tap in with them um if anyone could tell me how to get in contact with them that would be uh last one here bill sama gates lot and jet jet bobet banana banana fo fet me and my mo met period jet bill sama gate lot and is the scat man thank you for the 20 man it means a lot and thank you. I'm I, I'm surprised I didn't butcher that more. So uh, that was that's some good wordplay there, Bill Sama. And uh, next primary, I'm voting for you, buddy. Jackson Jones for five says, Tom, I'm going to be a popular Disney Channel movie reviewer. What is the best way for me to ruin it and have you make a bid on me? Um, I don't know. Can you go the LS be a loser, or a creeper, a piece. Yeah, you could go the LS Mark route for sure. <laughs> that was rough. Do you know uh you know I used to be good pals with that guy a long time ago. Really? Yeah. Like four years ago, like when we were first like kinda getting like ground on YouTube, like for like yeah. a year we were like best buddies, close channel associations, collabs and stuff. Really? Yeah. It was I didn't like, know that. Yeah. But, uh, he followed me on Twitter like the other day and I because uh, I have a new Twitter and I, I followed him back. I was like, Do you think he knows what I said about his girlfriend on stream? <laughs> Or sorry, fiance, fiance, wife, oh, no man. wife, actually wife. Damn. Um, maybe That's he doesn't. I don't know. Do we, was, all, uh... <laughs> do we all sleep, by the way? Where's... Oh yeah, we can. Sleep. Yeah, my bad. Um, yeah, I don't know too much about him to be honest. He's not um, a bad dude. He's uh, he's nah, in a bad situation like though. It. He's in a bad situation. Yeah, it seems that seems to be true. Oh my god, Cam is all the way out. We can't sleep because Cam is. Cam, if you're watching the stream, come back to base, bro. Come back to base, bro. We gotta sleep. This isn't um, wet again. I'm trying to get through the night here, man. Yeah, it just seems like uh, people who fall for that lifestyle or whatever, they're not they're not bad people. They're just like I don't know. They're just they're just taking too much of the soy or something. Like they're just falling for it. I mean, the thing with him is like he's um you know he's he, he's a young guy, so I think he yeah. kind of got wrapped up with people. But there's this whole like degenerate scene of like Newgrounds animators and people that live in in, in California and like L.A. and he got. He got kind of wrapped up in that and his his girl like cheated on him with some of them and like then got with him and then like dated one of them there's like a whole mess going on and uh they're like living in the same house and she was banging some other dude and just a whole terrible situation and um all these people are super dysfunctional like cartoon network failure artist types you know what i mean like they could yeah. never like they have some of them have the talent but they can never actually be in the industry because they're just dysfunctional like crazy people um yeah yeah and you know as far as uh you know becoming a better a better person with age i think that there's a lot of things that you do when you're young that you can grow out of you know there's a lot of things that you know we do when we're you know 18 20 whatever even mid-20s that you can kind of grow out of and you can become a better person but uh if you're 30 doing stuff that is that how old he is he's not 30 he's he's, he's my age he's, he's like the same age as me yeah but yeah. his wife is uh 30 oh man that's messed up uh, you know I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna say she's a creep or anything like that but it's just kind of like yeah yeah you know, if you're 18 dating a 30 year old like or i guess he's 20 dating a 30 year old it's just kind of like a strange that's like, that's the same thing as being 18 and <laughs> dating a 30 year old you know it's just like uh it's probably it's probably an experience gap there your girl's looking at it's... me all freaky um but yeah, there's, there's she... kind of a there's kind of a strange experience gap there that um probably just makes for a bad relationship it um, sounds like he's just being manipulated and hey, maybe he has just like a lack of confidence like he doesn't stand up for himself enough and it, i mean if if she's 30 and he's 20 his inexperience is probably going towards this is my uh armchair take his inexperience is probably um making you know his lack of life experience probably reflects part of the relationship she she probably wears the 
pants. She's making the calls. And um, I don't know. It's like, I'm older. I know better. And it's like, at that point, it's like arguing with your mom. Like, mom, you're wrong. Yeah. You know? Like, it's kind of just um, like, I feel I feel, I feel, feel bad for her in particular because it's like, um, now that they're married, like, if even if they were to split off at this point, like, there's a whole financial thing going on. I mean, they're married in yeah. California. They're married in California. Oh, double bad. Which means that, uh, you know, if, if, if they divorce or something, I mean, she gets half of it. Yeah. Um, and I think, and he's, he's far more wealthy than she is. I mean, 10 years younger than, you know, than her. He's got his whole YouTube career going. She, yeah. from what I understand, doesn't have a ton of income coming in, really. Um, so there's just a whole, there's a dark going on there that i don't know man i uh i don't know her or anything but uh, he's just gotta know that he can do better like he's he's making cake off of youtube he's highly focused his videos are they're not for me but damn is he focused and knowledgeable and there is a market for his stuff so yeah. like he's, uh, let's, he's, let's I think, sleep by I, the way he, oh yeah sure he, he may be the type of guy to kind of cope himself into thinking like she's the one you know what i mean yeah yeah and uh the only way to get that to get the cure for that is just you know heartbreak and, and learning yeah who knows man it just a lot of people are just inexperienced and not confident you, you, ls mark gotta get his confidence up you're a youtuber you're a chad you're a caked up chad ls you so know what same, i mean bro. like get up there um but hey patrick gonzalez with 15 house fish ain't gonna compete with rogan's isolation tank live stream well uh we're gonna beat him because we're gonna have eight isolation tanks okay and rogan only has one it's just that simple it's a numbers game we're gonna win so we're gonna take rogan out i uh i've been listening to rogan more lately actually i've been getting more yeah. more into it i was into it when, like in high school and then i kind of stopped but i've li been listening to some Same, episodes yeah. here and there now but um you have them on spotify or whatever that's yeah, the one i dropped yeah, off yeah 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 so i listen on spotify now i used to listen on youtube like when he was on youtube yeah same but um yeah i uh i listened to this one like three times a more recent one the one with mr beast super uh insight that one was good yeah i've been i've just been thinking we got so lucky with the biggest youtubers like pewdiepie pretty based mr beast like pretty based like just like cool down to earth like non spurgy guys who are like yeah. they, they, they like they like help the community like the youtube community but also they help like um people out in need they're like kind of edgy kind of funny like you can kind of tell they're down with like the the that we like um yeah i feel pretty pretty happy about the we, we you know we got kind of blessed with that we could have had a real bad situation we could have had like lily sing or fucking, i don't know yeah ex annoying you know libtard youtuber at the top my white pill is that uh i think one of the laws of the universe is like in order to make it you genuinely have to be a good guy you know what i mean because mm -hmm. because eventually like your sociopathic behavior will catch up to you you'll burn you'll burn the wrong bridge you'll screw somebody over people will eventually see through your ruse but people like mr yeah. beast and um people like mr beast and pewdiepie they're like genuinely good so they're like just just how like nature and the universe works they're gonna they're gonna get good results mm -hmm. i think uh i think that's some encouragement i think that's, that's for sure good, yeah long long term success has to come kind of from the heart yeah for sure nice see um i've just been yeah I, i've been i've been listening to stuff like that and more uh i've been getting into nelk which i was not into in high school at all but now i'm like getting yeah. into nelk for some reason you're my, taking the normie pill i am well i i'm realizing that being a normie maybe is not so bad it's kind of cool yeah um so i'm getting into nelk okay I, I have a question for you i'm gonna okay. pose a question and i want to see what your guess is so sure. how much do, money do you think nelk did in merch in 2022 oh um conservatively like total sales or like uh profit uh, uh sales, I, sales. Just, how, how, how much in merch do they sell sales maybe 1.2 million if i had to guess okay this is gonna blow your mind okay they did 50 to 70 million in 2022 dude what in <laughs> wait nelk is the guys who do um they, they have like their send. own beer and stuff happy dad yeah. yeah 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 happy dad yeah holy crap yeah they're yeah man yeah dude Insane. if i see their beers all the time which i do like with it with, around young people all the young people are like drinking their beers like they're mm -hmm. they're actual like uh products and stuff then you know their merch is popping if they're that deep in that they have their own like products no yeah they, they do crazy and the thing is they don't even make uh they don't make money on youtube ad revenue at all really um, yeah so they, youtube uh, is just like their social tool to get out there exactly yeah because okay, they, they yeah. blatantly use copyrighted music and stuff and get demonetized and they're fine with it okay how do i get food and stuff it says my all my th my three things are flashing okay um uh, meet me in the middle of the base i'm gonna hook you I'll right, try not to die on the bikes again. Yeah, no, they're they're good. They're doing crazy. Um, that's good. I love. I dude, I love success stories. I love. Me too. I love hearing people that like have like a cool thing set up and they're making money and they're like killing it. Yeah, they're doing crazy. Mr. Beast, they got a billion dollar valuation for his company, which was crazy. Really? Here. There's just uh, there's so much there's so much money in this this YouTube thing right now. When I think about like the worry of got like job security and stuff like that, it kind of like white pills me a little bit. It's like you know what? There's there's so much money going into this thing. Like it's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. 
tap E on these, on two of those, right. and then come over to the uh, bonfire here, gotcha. then hold E, hold e. and then you can set the, the meat down on the bonfire, just right click it, you can cycle through. Oh sh Once you have both of those down, just watch the meat and wait for it to turn brown. And then you'll have, and then I'll show you how to get the water. Damn. Yeah. Every, every part of this game is like that. There's like a little manual process you have to do. Cutting the logs, placing the stakes, everything. Is this, is this what rust is like? Rust is not this cool. I'm going to be on, well, mainly because I, I hate on rust. Look, I'm not going to play or hate on Mr. Beast, but I will play or hate on 14 year old Adderall kids who are way better at rust than I am. And I'll ever be. That's one thing that I'll actually be salty about. That's why yeah. I hate rust. Deep down is because like my brain is old and I'm stupid. Well, they'll they have win. Alzheimer's when they're like, you know, 20 one so yeah it's okay i'll get TikToked out exactly uh, that, the adderall I've, I've read is terrible so i i used to do it like in, in college and stuff um i've uh tried to stay away from paranoid about brain effects long term uh mega chigga with the 10 tom i used to hate you four to five years ago because you sounded so prepubescent you even responded to my nasty hate comment i actually liked you though great vids also jet uh, you hear elf bars will be banned look man i'm not gonna stand up for this i stand with china okay i know russia's gonna win this upcoming hot war smoking chinese vapes is a way that i signal that i'm with the good guys and if they're gonna ban if they're banning freedom let's let's be real guys patriots like you and me know that the day the elf bar is removed from your local 7-eleven america's dead okay Honestly, uh, as far as like banning vapes and stuff, my actual take is that it's probably good. Um, and I don't know, fr freedom, et cetera, is like, it's whatever. But uh, the, the reality is like uh, Zoomer kids who have easy access to something, they're so um, short attention span that like making it harder for them to get it will just make them give up and probably benefit their health. So if they want to ban it, you know, go for it. it. It'll do the same thing as Juul. They ban Juuls and then, and then a new wave of disposable vapes at the market um and then like the, the, the vape meta just changed they they nerfed uh they nerfed uh i don't know any overwatch characters but if i did i would have a joke they nerfed one and then the other one became meta you know what i mean so probably the same thing's gonna happen one more here for me nerf uh, we bastion have... nerf bastion that was more effeminate than i thought you'd pull off you that well i practiced that i've practiced that for weeks tom <laughs> i was good. like oh well, I gotta impress Tom with my uh, my e girl voice. <laughs> yeah, my Belle Delphine impression. Bastion. Hey man, y'all don't know what I do on Fiverr for my side hustle. Let's just, let's just say that, all right. Um, Hannah J. Relaying the Miss Super God. Man, my, this chat is so helpful and nice. Anna, you're you're a, you're a savior, Hannah J. You're such a sweetheart and you're a saint. Uh, she's relaying a message that I missed earlier. Uh, Bench Press Maniac's super chat. Uh, I love the boogie video. Can you give us the down low on what he did to try to get it removed? I'm thinking that's a Tom question. He told me that he was going to kill himself. Um, people kept making Whoa. videos about him and that I was one of the reasons that he wanted to kill himself. Oh, shit. That's crazy. Okay. Do I have the steak now? I think I have the steak. <laughs> okay, did you overburn it? Okay, I, I, cool. I burned like three of them, but I have one now. <laughs> I have okay, one. yeah, perfect. How do I eat it now? Now you just open your inventory, go to it, and then click it. It'll be on the left side. Your okay. Food. Okay, I'm eating it. Awesome. Um, um, True for two says feet cam when real soon. Uh, Dirty Sanchino for five says my really good friend Colin knew you from U Heart. Said you were a cool guy. Great to see you with Jet Neptune. Love the content, bro. Thank you, buddy. Shout out to Colin. Uh, Luke. Once upon a time. That's crazy to have like people you went to school with in the chat. That's yeah, nuts. I know. It's funny. I've been getting more of those recently. I've been getting. I'm getting to that stage where this is like a, like a new thing. I'm getting like texts from like old friends I had from high school and stuff. Or like. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Tom. Uh, just want to say congrats on your success. And I don't think it's cynical. I think they're they're being sincere about it. But it's like kids that I had like yeah, yeah. beef with in high school and. Shit. Like kids that like, oh yeah, kids, once you get older, you realize you realize that all like both of you were just idiots at yeah, the time, yeah. and like it's instantly instantly understood that like all the beef is gone. It's like oh, we're both adults now. We're both like trying to feed our, feed ourselves. Oh, exactly. Yeah, it's great that we're both still alive. You know, for sure. Yeah, yeah. They've been uh, I've been like recently hanging out with uh, not super recently, but I've been like hanging out with kids that. I like hung out with in high school a little bit and reconnecting and yeah it's, it's surprising to me how many of them ended up being pretty cool um, it's it's cool man all everyone in my server right now i went to high school with all, all these guys that are uh, helping awesome. us out like I've, I've stayed in contact with these these are like my best friends like i've stayed in contact with them the whole time they've always been like solid and nice and supportive to me and uh and friends are r rare and good
Point of life. Point of life. The you simple, know. yeah. Everything else Facts. is distraction. Yeah. Everything else is a way to get more friends. It's been my experience so far. How do I? Can I just drink water? Oh, water. water. Yeah, yeah. Come down to go to the shallows and just press G if you have like a spear equipped or anything. And just look down at the water. Hold E. It's okay. kind of finicky in parts right here. I've noticed. You gotta be. Yeah, here we go. I'm drinking. Right. It says I'm cold and wet and I'm tired. Cold, cold and wet. wet and tired. I just go by the fire, right? Is that what I do? Yeah, yeah. Just uh, I mean, being wet and tired won't really inhibit your game too much. Unless you're trying to like stamina in a max. <laughs> but, I'm trying um, to stamina. I'm always trying to stamina max. Oh, well, in that case, yeah. You just you just sit. You look down at the bench here. You just hold E, and then you just sit by the fire for a little while. You can do that while you read your super chats or whatever you know. Gotcha. Oh, there's a sitting thing. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna cook. I'm gonna sit here right next to you, and my character's starving. Awesome. Oh, I can cook this head. I'm gonna cook this head and this leg. There we go. Dex Steady for five says spicy combo in your chat, Tom. Not since the Femboy Saga has it been this compelling. There's all these people that desperately want me to be a girl be uh transsexual in some way they're trying to get me to reiko's trap harem <laughs> oh man yeah i don't know what's going i on. bet a bunch of the people who like came from that video just stayed and now they're fans you know what i mean that video did have a um because youtube tells you like percentage of viewers that like stuck around and watched other videos that one had a high high one on that metric oh so, yeah. yeah i think you're right <laughs> i think you're right did I tell you I talked what? to him? I talked to that guy? How did that go, man? It was interesting. He basically told me, he was like, yeah, I was all like a troll psyop because I hate R9K and wanted to make them look retarded. I think he's the truth, so. Yeah. It's a lot of effort for a troll, though. That's my only thing. It is, but, you know, a lot of people will go through a lot of stuff for a simple troll. True. When, when you have time, when you don't have a job, yeah, yeah. a lot of stuff, a lot of crazy stuff can happen. The real sin with that is that he had so much free time. Not even the fact that it was, like, super perverse. It's just the fact that he had it all. just make that happen. Yeah. He claimed that he's uh, he's the propagator, the main propagator of Sneed posting on TV. Claims that he blew that meme up. I don't know if that's <laughs> true, but this is a new claim to fame. Yeah. He's well. He's gonna be racking up a whole a whole list of accolades and medals by the end of this. Exactly. That's so funny. Oh man. Uh, we got a chat from Fred Hyde eighty eight. Fred, you're making you're making my dreams come true tonight. I'm not even gonna lie, man. Thank you. That's on Fred Hyde eighty eight. Um, Jet comes from a long and distinguished line of Albanian witch doctors. Uh, Fred. Let me give you a little... This, this is a family secret, but I'll tell you because I like you. Now, if you were my family, you would know what that meant. That's the language we speak at the barbecues and the get-togethers. But yeah, the witch doctor tongue, man. It's, uh, <laughs> it's cool, man. If you ever want to return to tradition, there are Rosetta Stone classes that can teach you how to speak that. And you can get back to your roots, man. Fred Hyde, thank you. We got uh, Turbo with the 20 New Zealand. Thank you, man. TikTok, Fortnite, yeah. Fortnite, Fortnite, hey, yeah. Yeah, man. Hit that gritty, Turbo. We got to make it happen, man. We got to hit the gritty for all the folks out there for, for ganging them. <laughs> That's, That's funny gritty. tonight. Thank you, man. I don't. What is this gritty thing? I don't totally understand the gritty. Dude, okay, so it's like a football dance, to my is it, understanding. Is it the foot? Is it the foot like you like shuffle with your foot kind of meme? Is that what it is? Yeah, yeah. And I'm ashamed to say that I spent I spent like uh, three hours and like a thousand calories trying to figure out how to do it, and I realized that my body is old and fat, and I need to give up. Yeah, dude. I've been <laughs> uh, I've been I've been going going through the I've been working out for the past like last month and a half, and I've been dealing with the fact that. I've been oh really? Soy my entire life, and I've just been. Dude, it's weak. exactly the same period of time for me. A month and a half is. Oh really? You've been working yeah. out? I didn't know that. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Nice. You've been uh, just weights. Yeah, just weights mostly. Um, I haven't done. Any, I'm really bad at cardio. My lungs are bad. I haven't done much cardio. Uh, like running, any long, anything that makes my lungs go crazy, I have not really done yet, even though I need to. It's often the things you hate doing the most that you probably need to do. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, man, I've been I've been doing it, and I, I feel better. It's yeah, not, too, it's not yeah. a meme. For sure. It's real. And I also, I, I'm like more productive in other areas of my life. Yes. Nice. Yeah. It, it gets your baseline. Um, what, what are you benching right now? Um, so I do, I do dumbbell press because my brother yeah. and my dad told me that bench press is gay and doesn't let you full range of your chest. So yeah. I do, uh, I, I started at, I think a 20 in each hand and now I'm at a 40 in yeah. each hand. Um, nice. So I'm just pretty, That's good. lifting that. That's like the most fun exercise, the dumbbell press. Yeah. Experience. It's been good though. Um, I've just been benching doing dumbbell presses um chris as you know chris chat loves chris i love chris b9 more. tour yeah yeah oh rob says i should play tarkov honestly rob um with the new cheating scandal i don't think i'll ever touch that game again the psyop worked um thank you for the five but honestly man i hate that game it puts me in a bad mood i'm already feeling sour just thinking about it uh oh yeah what was i saying weightlifting with chris Weightlifting with Chris has been like kind of my trainer. He's been helping me because mm -hmm. I've never like never in my life have I worked out consistently. Mm -hmm. um, I've always kind of been just like a soy bitch, Same. and uh, I want to change.
change that. So that's cool that you're doing that. Yeah. Yeah. My brother basically he gave me a list of uh, exercises to do. Like says the name of it, and I just like to learn them. I watch videos on YouTube, basically, and it said like the amount of reps and whatever. Um, yeah. And the goal is just like every like week and a half or so, try to get a little more weight. Um, yeah. So I have like uh I have like a list of arm stuff, list of chest stuff, list of back stuff, um, list of uh, ab stuff, uh, stuff like that. It's been uh, it's been good. It's been good. I definitely I think the... even already physically I can see a little bit of a difference in progress. Yeah. I think the back stuff is my favorite. You like just the because... uh, tricep pull down thing? That... Yeah, yeah. I I like back exercises because nothing in my life had ever worked my back muscles out. So that like the feeling in my back was so different than what I'd experienced ever that it was like insane. Mm -hmm. uh, I it was like one of the spots where I had the most uh like instant progress and like instant change. So it was like very um it was very motivating. I guess right, right. I like the I like the the chest stuff the most. That's been the most fun for me. Yeah. I just really like pushing up towards the sky. I find that very fun. Yeah. Um, uh, chest and shoulders has been has been good, but I'm starting to notice already like like my chest is getting bigger than my arms. I'm starting to look a little awkward, so I got to focus more on the arms. I think now, or I'm, I'm gonna do yeah, have yeah. tits and like no arms. You'll look, you'll look just barrel like a oil barrel. <laughs> keep going with like the skinniest arm ever <laughs> that's the funniest thing to me ever would be if i worked out like one thing like i, yeah, like I yeah, only yeah. worked out like my traps but everything else was completely your right weak. arm <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay i also noticed i don't know if this is because of like years of masturbation or something my right arm is way yeah. stronger than my left arm same yeah like uh when Dang. i when i do the the hammer curl or whatever or i just try to like do a curl with a weight the right yeah. arm getting to like the 15th rep is not that hard the left arm it's like i'm gonna kill myself it sucks so hard yeah 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 no, nah, I, I know exactly what you mean, man. I'm in the same uh, the same boat with that one. Years of beating my d into submission, just to yeah. feral furry pornography, ruining <laughs> everything. Yeah, bro. Femboy yeah, all bros. 88 donated again. Said if you work hard, no <laughs> Femboy 88 time. works harder. I must maintain my status as the biggest Tom Dark fan. It's cold out here, but I must defend my throne. Hey, shout out Femboy. 88. Some boys doing a good job at that so far. What does 88 mean? Is that uh, some kind of... That's, that's uh, yeah, that's secret uh, Hitler code. Secret Hitler code? <laughs> yeah. I was trying to get you to, like, make up something, like Teletubbies or something, but you just went out. Oh, right. I just went right for it. You went uh, right for it. You just had to, you had to go mask off. Oh, uh, yeah, well, it's, yeah, it's some Teletubbies. It's Teletubbies lore. If you Teletubbies were a Teletubbies lore. lore master like me, I would know. You know what that can I kill animals with a, an axe you can. or maybe something better? You, you can actually torture them in this game. Whoa. With it, can I get them with an axe? They're pretty fast. You can, but uh, the spear is decent. You can also craft a bow. Bow is pretty good. Honestly, spear is like the way to go. Uh, the only animal that will outrun you is like the full-grown deer. All the small ones you can just chase around with a stick. And gotcha. Go. How do I How do I find tape? Is that just scattered randomly? or? I think we have some in the base. Go to the um, gate. There's the, the main gate that's super built up. To the right of it, there's a guard shack. And on the first floor, there's a, a rack, like a table. You can go there and um, grab grab tape off of the shelf and grab a couple and make some spears. Cannibal just killed um, me. Awesome. Wait, what animal? No, it's our cannibal. Cannibal. Oh, okay. Um, two chats here and then I'll, I'm gonna go hunt with you. You want to go hunting? Yes, yeah, I'll go hunting. Sure. Go hunting. Pister me nut with the 20. I was in a car accident once and I started speaking Albanian witch doctor immediately after. So that was one of those miracles, man. You experience the uh, near-death experience. You come back with a gift from God, and now you can talk to me. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you some code, Mister Mina. Tell me if you tell me if you hear me loud and clear. <laughs> yeah, he, he got that one loud and clear. Mr. Mina, that is the address to the secret VIP party we'll be having. Uh, don't spread, don't dox it, man. Uh, one more from our good friend Patrick Gonzalez. Any last thoughts on Bella Janky? turkey um yeah actually sure uh, cia dad has been trying to uh t get kiwi farms to take down the articles about her and uh <laughs> someone i don't know who it is that's not even a joke her dad is in the cia yeah. and her father Every also time. suspicious <laughs> suspiciously was seen at a press conference associating being friends with discussing with uh the ceo of cloudflare who is the guy that ended oh. up dropping kiwi farms if you can believe that um but uh yeah Holy i've been getting uh, i was get, uh, i haven't gotten them for a while but i was getting privacy complaint requests constantly on the janky video um they were it was so retarded that they were time stamping the video to be longer than it actually is saying that an extra 40 seconds of the video that was non-existent needed to be removed from youtube youtube ignored it and was like F you yeah they've been sending me that sh 
they uh they hired some like defamation lawyer called like oh my god it's like it's like a but it's a defamation lawyer that's like a joke he's like some indian guy so he said yeah. so he sent he's he sent uh null the guy who runs kiwi farms like reddit on his stream i think he was like I am the number one takedown guy. I will get stuff taken down for you, whatever you need. And you need to take down this offending, defamatory thing, accusing my daughter Isabella Janky of this and that and this and that. And um, Noel was just like, F you and ignored it and nothing happened. But they're, uh, yeah, they're, they're trying to take shit down. She changed her name and is going to a new school now. Really? Uh, she dyed her hair. She didn't give a new person. Got she changed book. her face? Yes. <laughs> yeah, she changed her face. Well, she has kind of a, I'd say, unremarkable face, so she may be able to get away with yeah. it that way, but yeah, that's kind of the update there, kind of a... That's crazy. Situation. Isn't it funny how they always have CIA parents? Yeah, I don't you know, know what what's, I mean? what's going on there. There's always some kind of fed going on. Um, yeah, yeah. That, that was one of the weirdest stories on the internet. I remember when that came out, like the Chris Chan f***ed his mom thing. Like, that was enough yeah, to be man. like, that was so f***ed. But then peering into this rabbit hole of like this college friend group and then this girl who's like the ringleader who has like a weird like poop fetish and like a pee fetish. <laughs> and, like, she never washes, she never bathes, she smells, she boils hamsters alive and her father is in the CIA. Just a lot. There's just a lot going on there. There's just a, there's just a lot. And uh, it makes me realize that real life really is stranger than fiction, you know? Yeah, it's insane, man. Yeah. So, oh my God. Wonder how I... he felt about hearing his daughter do all this. He was like, Isabella, not again. Not yeah. again with put, this sh Put the poop away. Put the poop away. Put the poop back in the toilet and put go to your Put the hamster room. back in the cage and out of the boiling <laughs> pot. Okay. Take the fork out of the hamster. Take you're grounded. <laughs> no phone for one day. <laughs> and you don't get to drive the Lexus to school. You get to, you drive the Toyota. <laughs> but, you're um, taking the RAV4 to school for the next two weeks. Yeah, she bawls. She cries. <laughs> yeah. Dude. Oh, I got a deer. Holy sh Actually won. I won oh, you game. got one? It oh, I like... forgot I was gonna go hunting with you. I'm like obsessed with building this wall in a sick way. Right, I'm coming. Oh, maybe I didn't. It was like sleeping and I like hit it and then maybe it ran away. I thought it turned into dust. I'm gonna come to you. Um, Once again, I need to eat. I'm tired. I'm hungry. I'm retired. It's happening again. On the subject of car crashes, so I, I like sold my Subaru in January and I got a new car. And then yeah. uh, I've been, I got a little too rambunctious with it and I almost crashed it. I uh, I, I tried to drift around a corner and I was drifting into a snowbank. Yes. <laughs> oh, Th Thankfully nothing happened. But uh, yeah, very, 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 very trepidatious, very scary experience. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I was like, you when you like go end up in a ditch. Yeah, and I wasn't even going fast either. Like, it wouldn't have been a cool story if I crashed it. I was just, like, coming out of Walmart, and I was like, what if I drift? And I haven't told anyone about this yet, so if someone's hearing this right now for the first time that knows me, you may be mad, but... Um, yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> no, nothing really, nothing happened. I just uh, drifted into a snowbank a little bit, got a little scared, and then drove off, and it was fine. There's no dent. That's, that's, uh, I don't know, that's kind of, that's not as bad as it seems, in my opinion. It's like, that's just how you learn your limits. Yeah. Like, you gotta, you gotta around to know what you can get away with you know <laughs> I, what I mean i learned i learned oh man yeah um yeah dude i yeah, i ended up in a ditch once it was uh it was in georgia so there wasn't any snow it was just like wet mud and uh i kind of just embarrassed myself and uh learned my lesson and then i started driving safer after that so it was like a good it was a good thing that happened in my opinion it was like it needed to happen mm -hmm. now this game's learn. Cool, as long as you I make it out alive and you don't Die, you know? I can toss logs to my friend up here. You see that? See what's going on? My friend's building, but it would take too long for him to uh, You're tossing logs. Yeah, and then he catches them, and then he's going to use them to build the tower. Oh, sh they have a whole animation for when you make the spear. Oh yeah, now you're good to hunt. All right, yeah, I gotta find some. Sh I guess. Um, it's just I'm cold and I'm thirsty, so I gotta go find some animals to kill. You can go get um. You can get watered out the river. I think we're about to sleep. The sun goes down here, and then we'll go out on a hunt. That's so we, we're never hungry. Never hungry again, bro. We're gonna make it out the hood. Yeah, for real. We're gonna make it out the hood. Talkies for days. We're making it out the forest. Cold and wet. You're hungry. You're tired. All right. I'm gonna. Maybe I can kill one thing close to the base. Yeah. We should set up some animal traps too. We can do that. Well, of course you can do that. Well, this is an expansive game. Is this an indie game or what's the deal? Yeah. So the story with this game is um, they released their first game just called The Forest. Um, and back when they started that game, it was two developers. It's like a true indie studio. And they were like filmmakers. They weren't, um, they weren't, they didn't have a huge basis in video games. A lot of their team is like, they do like film effects and they do like, uh, like Dutch horror movies and weird shit like that. Uh -huh. So that's, that kind of explains some of the graphics and the, uh, enemy design. But, um, yeah, they, they worked their way up after the forest while it was still in early access. They hired more people. I think their dev team is like 10 strong right now. Um, I like to research this stuff because, uh, Sam is doing a game. 
soon right. here. So it's like, it's interesting to see other success stories and like what to glean from them. But uh, yeah, it's like 10 people, man. And they, uh, they're, the game's in early access or whatever, but it's it's a big improvement from the last one. These are like the games I like the most, like survival, kind of hardcore-y type games. But this one's kind of relaxing too. Like you can just idly build with your friends, have fun. It's a good one. Anyone watching that doesn't know what game we're playing, it's called Sons of the Forest. It's $30. Um, I like it. I, I recommend it. It's better with friends, though. They're pretty uh, pretty inexpensive game for what you get. You think this would be like 60? Yeah. Shout out to them. I think their development studio is End Night. They're, they're good, man. Uh, got a chat here from Gandalf the White Jet. Hypothetical morality, morality situation for you. Uh, you're driving a bit drunk at 3 or 4 a.m. and hit someone's car. There's no witnesses, no dent, no cameras. Do you keep driving and risk your future? Yes. What am I going to tell on myself? I instantly do the immoral thing, especially when there's no evidence of immorality. If there's a huge dent, yeah. If both of our cars are damaged, yeah. I'll, I'll, I mean, I guess Their that car changes was in the way it's yeah like, oh. he's in the way of me he's, he's <laughs> uh yeah i will do whatever decision allows me to uh continue my projects because if i'm in jail i can't make fish tank and then no one can watch fish tank exactly. so i will lie gaslight deceive uh the idea of you being in doctors. jail you know the, the the possibility of that poses a greater threat to society than exactly they're yeah. targeting dented you know gotta take one for the society team. they would understand <laughs> You don't have time to understand to, to explain it to them, but if you did, then they would understand. I'll leave a little note on the windshield that says, um, "Fish tank." This, just this had to happen. Yeah, yeah. It's just like it's just an ad. You leave them a picture of yourself. <laughs> really tell on myself, bro. When I make it, I got you, and then I forget about it instantly. Looking for some some animals. We'll hit some when the morning comes. During the winter, there's way less animals. Um, there's seasons too. That's another thing. Um, I think tomorrow is the last day of winter in game. <laughs> Every five days, the season changes, so um, then then there's tons of animals after that. It's like, right now is the hardest time to survive. Steering a cannibal. Oh, there's more. Are you... Oh, yeah, you're out there. Yeah, I made a little trek. Let's see what's up. Check out the, the surroundings. Yeah. Minecraft doesn't have seasons. Buy yeah, Minecraft seasons. isn't based. <laughs> I love the video of Sam with the horse. Yeah, yeah. Trying There's a comment the on horse. that. There's a comment on that saying like, seeing Sam so emotionally invested in something is so heartwarming. He was like so set on getting that horse in the hole. I know. It was nice. Uh, Paul Jerry sucks with the 15. Hey, Jet, I love the stream. How hard do you think it would be to get Destiny the streamer on one of the Sam streams? I know Sam was on his once. Uh, probably not impossible, but I, I would have to think about what would be the topic. What would they do? It wouldn't be um, hard. I, uh, I yeah. emailed him and he responded in one day and was like, yeah, let's do it, and we did the stream. Yeah, it wasn't difficult. Destiny, I, uh, Destiny would do that. Are you a, a Paul Jerry? Are you a Destiny fan? I, I know a lot of people really like his stuff. I, I don't watch it that often, but I know he's uh, he's very uh, looked up to. He's like a voice of reason, from what I understand, right? He's pretty good. It depends on uh, your tolerance for for libtards. I have a pretty high tolerance, and I'm kind yeah, of me a, too. I'm kind of a I'm somewhat of a libtard myself, probably. So I um, yeah, I'm kind of I'm kind of cool with it, and I uh, I like his. He does a lot of good like uh, like arguing drama streams, obviously, because I'm like a teenager grow i like seeing people fight and seeing the turmoil yeah. of their life and laughing at it he does a lot of a lot of stuff like that so i like that aspect of it there's, there's a good drama but he does some some insightful kind of philosophical stuff as well i would i would hold him in like higher regard of twitch streamers just streamers in general well i guess he's not on twitch anymore yeah out of all the trash out there i think destiny's one of the good one of the good guys for sure for um sure. yeah I, him and sam got along we i mean we don't care if we don't agree politically i don't even i'm not that opinionated politically i don't really give a um, I think yeah. the older I get, the less I get triggered by libtards, you know what I mean? And now when I say libtard, it's like fully a joke. Like it's not even, it doesn't have any sting to it anymore. It's no, like, so. uh, have you ever seen the accounts that like role play as, um, as like conservative boomers on Twitter? Yes. Yes. Yeah. It's like, that's kind of how I view politics now. Like that's, I, I, I feel that like when I'm calling someone a libtard, I'm channeling like, uh, Jimbo Davis. 55 Patriot, you know what I mean? Channeling Marty. Yeah, Mar Dark Marty gang. Shout out Dark Marty Army. Yeah, I uh, when I was younger, I used to draw the divide politically a lot, but as I grow older, yeah. I find myself looking more for ways I can get along with people rather than yeah. and argue with them. It's not worth it, man, because on any political thing, you're not going to agree with the other person. No. It's like, it's already it's already cooked. Like, no one's going to convince each other. It's, um, you might as well just try to find some common ground sure. and uh, just enjoy a conversation with somebody or something. These demon crats. Yeah, that was great. I remember when I saw that in my subscription feed, I was like, no way. And I saw the Sam and Destiny combo. Yeah. 
Awesome. And it's it's cool to see people who you know have different political things in their heads, like get along yeah. and have a normal conversation. It's a white pill moment. Have you been following all the the kick stuff recently? Yes, yes, I have, and I've been considering a move to kick. I don't know, just thinking about it, just I've, because uh, it, I've been hyped for it. They certainly have a, you know, their revenue split is crazy, crazy. Yeah, it's ninety five five, right? That's insane. Yeah, that's insane that's so good dude i just recently learned that twitch is 50 50 that's insane yeah they are that's totally beat and i think twitch proposed an even higher take and people got so mad that they decided not to um but yeah is everybody at base right now to sleep um i am oh yeah sleep forgot about that meme yeah it's a sleep meme sleep this whole meme about sleep <laughs> cringe meme who's not sleeping uh me hey wait somebody's way out there in like a cave or something no it's actually over okay all right we got to survive the night now thanks a lot i'm gonna grab a uh i'm gonna grab a water real quick i'll be back all right actually i might I hit these super chats first um in the game yeah the in-game super chats there's a super chat feature i meant the in water you need in-game water no 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 oh. in, in Life. <laughs> I think, in life okay yeah in life i'm gonna in life grab water it. okay makes sense um bro with the 10 says uh what did what do you put in your taco fajita shredded chicken beans and cheese i put a poll out i like to have a poll every stream even if it has nothing to do with the stream just something for someone to click okay and i did a poll this time guys Mex best mexican entree uh quesadilla burrito three tacos and nachos those were your choices um at chipotle you're in the line at chipotle watching the stream 34 percent of you chose burrito um he says what do you put in your taco man let me think maybe yeah shredded chicken for sure um or be eh, i'm a chicken guy chicken versus beef chicken uh jalapeno sour cream lettuce some sort of salsa uh whoa there's in-game chat that was crazy that scared the shit me bro um yeah man i just go for the works bro seems like burrito one uh patrick gonzalez with the 15 dilbert did nothing wrong that's a crazy situation too man the the dilbert creator coming out and just getting floored by racist statistics and just going insane uh the future is anarchy with the 20 what does sam think about destiny calling him a nazi uh probably nothing i, I don't think sam is too worried about that um so that's just whatever Ooh. all right getting water uh, so uh Mr. wps being harassed is he is he attacking you with a knife and a sword? Um, no, he's just kind of dancing in front of me, gyrating. Uh, strangely, I think he's trying to get you to sleep. Oh, oh yeah, sleep. Are we all here now? I thought Chase wasn't there. I guess Chase got his uh, he made shelter outside of the base. Sorry, right, hey. grabbing a grabbing a beverage of the gods, Diet Coke. Let's go. Did you did you know that Diet Coke increases testosterone? Coke and Pepsi. Really? I I, I was told that just normal Coke does this Diet Coke. I feel like it would increase estrogen. Yeah, I don't know. I uh, someone told me like I, I usually take a melatonin when I go to bed to like help me sleep. Yeah. And, and someone told me that um like my friend who's like a big health nut he told me that melatonin increases your estrogen levels. Yeah. And I feel like since I he said that true. my nipples have been getting bigger. But only once you hear it. This isn't only even a joke. Like I looked me. in the mirror I was like, are my nipples getting bigger? <laughs> why are they? Why am I hot now? Why? Why are my entire why is my entire chest a nipple? Why am I getting so sexy like a sexy girl? What? <laughs> Wait, what is my ass getting fat? Why do I look like Cara Delevingne with her shirt off? What's going on? <laughs> yeah. Why do I look like Margot Robbie underneath my shirt? Why but, am I so puffy and submissive now? But my face looks like a mix between a Mongolian and Leafy is here. What's going on? <laughs> What's going yeah, on? Yeah, mel melatonin's probably bad. I, I don't really know, but... Yeah. I've been sleeping better since I've been uh, working out, though. Just yeah, exactly. Conking out at night. I'm gonna get water. You wanna go on a hunt, Tom? You wanna yeah, go hunt some animals? Let's do it. Let's do it. I'm just trying to get my baseline stamina up first. Do you have any food in your uh, food bar? Um, I think I have some rabbit okay some raw rabbits so i'm gonna put that in there how do i get it out yeah. once i'm done with once I'm, when this is you just, ready you just tap e on it just watch it until it turns brown and then tap e once you see it turn up uh, cam might troll you here you might try to steal your uh your meat but just just grab it before he does gotcha <laughs> camping my only he's meat. camping the meat. <laughs> i'm just eating it raw yeah oh, yeah yeah, yeah. Steal this more we'll get more and i have i have food for you oh thank as you as well appreciate that here here let me give you this just a stat max here here sanso oh, oh, oh my god i've got a farts yeah do we all look like that i think we're we randomly generate a racial background okay we're brothers yeah we're racially ambiguous brothers we're all brothers I, s I hand you an MRE. If you go into your inventory, you can uh, oh, see the little bag. Yeah. And you can just eat that. Sloppy Joe. I've actually eaten an MRE before. Got some like good? Too. Damn, I got to sleep for work tomorrow night. Yeah, I'll see you guts. It was all right, uh, actually. It was like a chicken fajita MRE. I got it because uh, my friend was in like ROTC. Yeah. Um, and he just had them. He like, <laughs> on like Halloween, he like brought them to my house for some reason. Yeah. Um, that is a fun little uh, party favorite.
flavor. <laughs> Pulling up with MRE. Pulling up with an MRE. Yeah, we ate it like on my on my like porch. I remember my dad was like, "What the f are you guys doing? Why are you eating like chicken fajitas out of a bag that's like steaming?" And I was like, "Just go away." We thought it was kind of yeah. cool. We were like 15. <laughs> And that same, uh, yeah, that is cool. there's a lot of tomfoolery that same, uh, that same Halloween. There's, uh, so I live in, like, a nice suburban neighborhood, right? Uh, yeah. Like, where my parents, are you going on the hunt? I'll come with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All I'm right. listening, though. So I live in a nice suburban neighborhood, and, uh, there was this family in the neighborhood that, um, you know, sometimes people buy sh kind of flex on the other people in the neighborhood. This is kind of oh, how it yeah. is. And um, they were kind of one of those families. They always had like a nice new car or a nice new like boat in the you know driveway and stuff like that. Um, their house was like a little bigger than everyone else's. And it was like, you know, they clearly had things going on. I didn't really know why though. Nobody really knew why. Well, a few years ago, they got uh, audited by the government for like, I think 17 to 20 mil. Um, Jesus. Because they were selling like fake diet pills. It was a huge oh. scandal. Um, and they got audited for all of it. And this kid that oh, moved shit. to our town, are there cannibals or whatever? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe we just run past them. Just yeah. keep running. Yeah, we'll just go. This kid who would move to our town, he didn't know all this lore. And so yeah. we went trick-or-treating in my neighborhood and we went to his house and I was like, I'll give you $10 if you go up to there and ask them on Halloween for, for diet pills. Like ask them. <laughs> and he did it. And their reaction was so upsetting that they like stopped giving candy out to trick-or-treaters <laughs> for the rest of the night. And he was like, oh, they turn the lights off. You see the porch light just go dark. They, they actually did. Like, there were other ki little kids there, and it was just, like, done. It was insane. Oh, I just hate you. My bad. No worries. Oh. It's all in good fun. Sometimes you gotta scare your squirrel. friend. Squirrel, man. Michael Alberto for two says, yo, Tomex Jet Collab based. Thank you, Michael. Shout oh, out. Oh, Mike. Mike! Mikey boy. Friend of the show. Friend of the show, as I would say. He's also friend of the show here. We love a little Michael. We love a little Michael. Everyone right needs a little Michael. A little Michael in their hearts. Love a little Tremendous Michael. Tremendous guy. Tremendous guy. <laughs> little Michael Alberto here. Tremendous guy. He's good people. He's good people. Little gay, good but he's people. good people. <laughs> Just kidding, Michael. Love you, buddy. Thank you for the dono. Appreciate it. Yeah. Um, I do like animals. I, I'm a partial animals. I like I like strange animals. I like donkeys quite a bit. Yeah. Yeah. My favorite animal is um. What are the big? It's like emus, like huge birds. The emu, like the ostrich. Yeah, ostriches, emus. I don't uh, like them. They freak me out. They look scary. I like how intimidating they are. I my my fantasy is to have guard emus on my private ranch. So if anyone's trespassing at night, they just like <laughs> look over, see two skinny legs, and That's they so look scary. Fucking that's for boating. Seven feet up, and they see the head of a giant fucking dinosaur, and he's wearing metal armor, and he has night vision goggles on. Metal armor. <laughs> yeah. I want that an armor. Scary. They're, yeah, they're big. Like, they're scary birds. They're really lethal, too. I uh, oh. Not too long ago, I actually went to Roger Williams Zoo in Providence. Saw the animals there. Oh, that's yeah? pretty good. It's a nice zoo. Never been there. I've literally never been. It was not like not here. It was not busy at all this time of year. Like yeah. we were, I was the only person there in the zoo. It was uh, it was nice. It was really nice. It was, There's it, a little cannibal behind you. He's he's oh, good. He's keeping distance. Yeah. He's close. intimidated by our stature. Uh, I got a chat here from Aaron G. Smith. Hey, Jet, it's that topless babe behind you single. Keep your grubby hands off my girl! Aaron G. Smith, she's mine, man. She's not single. Look, man, I worked so hard to find a trad wife. Finally found her. And yes, we're nudists, okay? She doesn't <laughs> abide by these clothing standards. Um, she's trad, okay? She's actually she's, trad, not this fake trad. She's prim trad, all right? And that's why it impresses her. She's a prim trad. Play. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I found her. Look, we met on Telegram, okay? That's how I know she was based. We met on Signal. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> the VoIP. <laughs> Um, but nah, man, she's she's not available. Yeah, I lost it too. I was like chasing it out, like an idiot. Uh, uh, Patrick Gonzalez with the fifteen. Are Chris Christine Chandler's uh, jail letters real, Turkey? Uh, they are real. Yeah, as far as I know. Really? I mean, uh, who who's getting sent letters by? I think they Chris sent Chandler. letters to Noel, who's the owner of oh, Kiwi Farms. Shit. They're in. They've been in contact for a while because Noel will like fundraise for Christine now yeah. and then. So I'm pretty sure they're real. Yeah, that's Damn. video I'm gonna do soon. I think because nobody's done a Christian video in a while. And uh, yeah. I kind of don't like, there's like, there's this guy that does like a, a super extensive Chris Chan documentary. Um, oh yeah, the never ending Chris Chan documentary. Yeah, and I'm, I'm not trying to like, you know, cause static or talk shit about him because he's, he's, he seems like a cool guy and you know, he's doing his own thing, but it's just a little exhaustive, I think, for a video series. Um, yeah. And I, I like to do a more broad, comprehensive kind of, you know, video. That isn't so um, specific on it on each and every detail because not all the details matter in my opinion. So um, yeah, I'm I'm planning to do a video that kind of recaps the whole story over the past 10, 15 years because the last oh, really good one was like down the rabbit hole, but that was like outdated because like five years ago. So 
Yeah. There's some uh, there's some loot down here. Um, yeah, I I think for the the niche that that guy's in, it works because the people who want all the details are like hyper autistic, mm -hmm. and they they can handle that format. You know what I mean? Yeah. They can handle the like not so user friendly format, but yeah, there's a ton of people who uh, don't have the endurance or stamina to to watch something like that that would still like some of the more notable information. That'd be a good video. Yeah, I think it will. I think we'll like it. Why are these boxes not opening? Uh, hold E on them? I am. It's like I'm holding E and it goes it goes full and then it just doesn't open. Oh, I don't know. Maybe they're bugged. I picked up the loot. Are you having the same Maybe. issue as me? Are you not able to open them? No, no. They were they spawned open for me. Oh. There's a lot of bugs with multiplayer. Uh, single player, this wouldn't be a problem, but Gamer from Mars, the chat for five says I already did a good Chris Chan doc. Well, I'm gonna do it again better, okay? Losers creeps pedos in the title. Um <laughs> have you seen all those people? They're like mad about that. Sh yeah, how can you be mad at that? I mean, I I get that it's like an obnoxious like thumbnail, but um, that's kind of the the point. It's like you know, I think they should be more mad at people clicking it, considering that all those videos get like a million views every time I do them. It's just player hating, bro. It is. Ridiculous. It's hating what works. Um, but yeah, I there's think it's just like there's these gimmick accounts that uh they like they, they like quote tweet me and talk. Sh and I managed to ratio one to the factor of 28 times um, <laughs> recently. They, they 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 were like, get a hobby, and I quote to it. Oh, like, I saw that one. Yeah, and I was like, my my hobby is my job. You are a loser. <laughs> yeah, how about you get a job? Yeah, I've been I've been successful with the ratios recently. I'm kind of scared that I'm gonna get ratioed soon because I'm so aggressive. I ratioed Sneeko. He was he tweeted like the soy boy collage with a picture of me. He was like, they're all soy boys. Come to Rumble. Yeah. And I quote to him. I was like, why don't you watch your girlfriend get cream pied again? And he got like 30,000 <laughs> yeah. likes to his. Like three thousand. It's just <laughs> like I'm, I'm getting too lucky. I need to lay off. I've had too many wins. Like just gotta quit. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta go dark Twitter. mode for a minute. <laughs> yeah, 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 I gotta cool off. Um, Bobby Johnson for two says this stream is dope while working. Thanks, big guy. No problem, buddy. Go check out uh, Jet. Go to the Sam Hyde. Sam, Sam's perfect clips channel. Check it out. Follow Jet on Instagram, Twitter, all that stuff. Hey, Good hey. content. And y'all gotta follow Tom on uh, Instagram. Yeah, follow Tom but dark on Instagram, guys. Listen, my Instagram following. Slacking. Obviously, you know I'm so famous on Instagram. I don't need it. Appreciate you guys going there. Uh, Instagram is another beast. Another beast yeah. entirely. I, uh, I've just been maining Twitter now. Like, oh, it's so cool fun. to see bodies go down the river. That's so nice. I love water physics. I love main main winters watching bodies roll down the river. <laughs> yeah. Is that the smell of a rotting corpse in the river in the morning? Mmm. As long as you drink upstream from it, you will not get typhoid. As long as you drink out of its mouth, you won't get typhoid. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Base Critter has joined Severe Beast. Thank you for joining. That Severe is Beast. Fun. Do you have memberships on your channel? I do, yeah, I do. Yeah. I've actually, uh, I've been getting quite quite a few recently, which has been nice. Yeah, so it's good. To it's see good. That. It's we good to see YouTube be competitive and uh, and add features like that. I think eventually YouTube is going to be the streaming site. I think uh, Kick is going to have its time. It'll probably be big for a while. Maybe Rumble will have its time, but I think eventually people are going to go to YouTube. I think YouTube's just better. They just do it. Well, YouTube people is the catch-all source. Yeah, people hate using other like separate services and websites too. Um, everyone wants. Like, there, it's already, like, we use, like, three websites for everything, right? People like to yeah. have one place to go for everything, so I think we're going to see more homogenizing. I'm kind of okay with it, because YouTube is cool, I think. I'm okay with whatever the meta is, you know what I mean? Like, whatever whatever the, the thing that will work best, we'll just do that, you know? And I think sure. YouTube's, the, YouTube's the one. Yeah, they're killing it. I uh, I watched uh, Mr. Beast, Mr. Beast, on uh, the Nelk Full Send podcast. He was saying he thinks that YouTube Shorts are gonna kill TikTok uh, pretty soon because they're figuring out their algorithm, figuring out their interface, and they're doing revenue sharing, revenue split. Which makes yeah, that started more. in that started in February, I think. Mm. Have you guys had success with Shorts? I see you've been posting quite a few of them. Yeah, some of them get like a million views. They they perform really well. The milk one was. Um, I was dying. At yeah. Yeah, that was dude. crazy. Dude, that was the funny one of the funniest things I've like ever seen. It was so good. I also noticed you guys have been doing uh like content outside the podcast as well, like videos. Like you did the frying Funko Pop one. That was like one of the best videos I've seen like all year. It was great. I'm glad you liked that, man. I was super happy with how that came out. We told our editor guy to just make it like Mr. Beast. Oh, there's cannibals by the way. I see two. Oh, one hopped in a tree. Shit. He's gonna hop down. It definitely second, felt like a Mr. Beast video. It reminded me of like kind of like yeah. old like Frank type stuff. Yeah, that's I think I figured that's why people would like it because it's like it's kind of emulating that thing that just doesn't even exist anymore you know yeah well that that like stuff was always like, humor. they always parodied other youtubers from their time back then so yeah. the cool thing about it was to see that uh you guys were kind of channeling channeling that energy again 
A parody of a parody. Exactly. Did he get you? Yeah, he got me. I'm about to respawn in a camp, I guess. I'm finishing him off. The combat in this game is tricky. And it's a little unfair for you because these guys are like kind of leveled up. Mm -hmm. That's okay. And Let's you're see. joining on day 15. The odds have always been stacked against me, Jet Neptune, okay? Tricky Tom finds a way. Oh! Oh, oh this is... As a young African man, I learned to deal with the imbalances of my youth, and I overcame yeah. them. I'm used to being given the short end of the stick. <laughs> uh, Patrick Gonzalez says, What do you think about Sneeko working with Ye and Fuentes? Pretty sure that's over now. Really? Yeah, Sneeko, he dropped off the campaign a few months ago, and now Fuentes is back to streaming on Cozy. And, uh, Wait, Ye dropped off the campaign? No, so so first of all, uh, Sneeko dropped off. He went back to streaming on Rumble a few months ago, and now yeah. Fuentes is back to streaming on Cozy.tv and is not doing anything with Ye. He hasn't really talked about it, but... The basic speculation is that uh, they're not they're not working together anymore. That collab is yeah. over. Is what it is. That was that was just too insane to like work to be real. There's no there was no way that had any longevity. The fact it even like happened for a minute is still just like mind blowing. It's though. crazy. This the past like every the past year, six months the, has been insane. Well, I mean, even like two years ago, you would have said the past six months has been insane. You know, and every year they put the envelope gets pushed more to where it's like we're getting desensitized to these insane things happening. Like the number one rapper in the world. Like getting uh like quote red pilled mm -hmm. and uh, hanging out with America First Nick Fuentes, you couldn't write it. You know what I mean? Like it, there, it's the greatest fiction writer you'd know would like not even think of that. When are we gonna have a quiet year? Like is it gonna? I feel Never. like we, maybe no. was twenty nineteen a quiet year? Twenty twenty? I feel like one of them might have been quiet. Well, twenty twenty was uh, the virus, right? Like oh yeah, yeah no, true. <laughs> well, I forget about that year. Yeah damn, I guess it's, it's just gonna get crazier and crazier. No, I, yeah, I think it just ha like by nature it has to just get, keep getting crazier. But the internet did get boring for a while for me. Like when BreadTube was kind of a thing, it got kind of boring and stale. But now it's like. <laughs> getting exciting again with uh like like aiden ross and all those people they're kind of bringing back some some energy that i'm not used to so nice. yeah yeah get him there's another one up the hill here yeah let's gore these guys out oh, total gore oh the, he's eating his friend what, what a freak i have him like yeah i kill, on I kill one shoulder. of the guys because he eats his friend oh yeah you picked him up oh watch out watch out i possess him <laughs> let's bring the bodies back to base we take our winnings do some body collecting <laughs> <laughs> oh, I gotta throw him down the river, send him off to sea. Mom, look what I got you. I think yours has his pants down. Yeah, I pants him before I, I go. I can see his butt next to your next to your <laughs> neck. Yeah, it smells insane. <laughs> it smells really good. Yeah, it smells amazing. Mm -mm. Oh, there's more cannibals up the hill. Just, I guess, just go left. I haven't actually watched this yet. Did you hear that Infobren went on a H3 podcast? Really? Yeah, I gotta watch it. He like, got interviewed or something. Like recently? Yeah, like a did, month ago maybe. So did some of the like bread tube people like? find his content and they're like pushing I think they something. just found him on TikTok funny. they just thought it was kind of funny they weren't even like sh Dude. they were kind of fans yeah yeah that's good that he's getting some exposure that's one person that's been working so long and like he needs a bone you know yeah if Ethan's the one that's gonna give it to him so be it that's that's good for him Ethan's been pretty funny recently he's been uh I think he wants to get back to his roots a little bit but uh good. he keeps having to apologize for it he uh you remember the you see this you definitely saw this thing that went on the whole the whole yeah the yeah fake thing with the streamer guy Jeez. yeah yeah didn't, so, he have, um, didn't he say something like edgy that was actually kind of funny about it he just watched a video of her crying and laughed at it and then they started playing uh chestnuts roasting over an open fire while she like bawled her eyes out <laughs> <laughs> And he thought it was funny. That's good. Yeah, and, that's actually funny. And during the podcast, they pan over to the the view of like like uh they have like multiple cameras or whatever like Howard yeah. Stern. They pan over to a female producer. Ethan was like bawling his eyes out, covering his face with his shirt. They pan over to the female producer. She's like a dyed hair, like kind of Hillary Clinton, young looking type. Yeah. Um, and she's like stone faced, like no. There, there, she she think it's she funny. looks like she's watching the Holocaust. Like she looks so <laughs> disturbed by what's going on. Uh, <laughs> that's a good cutaway. Yeah. It, it was a great video that uh, that podcast i feel like i'm missing out on it because i mean you know whatever you want to say about ethan i feel like there's probably good stuff going on in terms of content yeah it's good uh hey man even when even when our enemies take a w got a lot you of enemies. be honest and call it a w, call a w a w you know whether your enemy took exactly. it or not you know Positive that's good man love <laughs> I felt I feel like he he thought his way of um his way of getting bigger was to tone it back and then he realized that that's that's actually how you ruin it you know so hopefully he comes back around yeah he's been uh he's been putting his friends are getting like pressured because every week Hassan Piker's having to like be like Ethan said that it again he did it again and he's, yeah he's having to deal with the 
for him. Wooly One said, everyone else was laughing in that video too. Ethan wasn't the only one who found it inappropriately funny. Yeah, for sure. The whole podcast thought it was funny. That one girl, just she wasn't having it. She was like, pig. But having the humor to cut to the person who doesn't think it's funny makes it funnier. Like, that's another reason the joke's good. Oh, yeah. oh little deer. Stab the little deer in the head. Stab the baby deers. Should I drop the body I'm carrying? Is it not important to have the <laughs> yeah, body? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Drop the body for sure. I thought the body was, <laughs> it was essential. No, no, I was, when I said we've taken the bodies back to base, I was joking. <laughs> We're carrying it for four miles. It's a joke. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I gotta gore this baby deer. Oh my god. I'm like, I need food bad. Like, we, we've totally failed. No, yeah. At getting, uh, I haven't killed anything. I'm on my last um, leg here. I'm so close. I'm so close to getting this deer. Maybe we can, like, herd it. Oh, I see another one. Yeah. Then you can outrun the baby ones. So if you just chase it long enough. You. Oh, I, I killed it. It was on the ground. I stabbed it and it kept, it started running. Yeah, you just gotta keep going. You gotta keep stabbing it over and over. Oh, I got one. All right, I'm cutting. I think I just heard it baby. die. I heard it cry as you mur murdered it. Scrumpy. Thank you for the 15, man. That is very generous and I appreciate and love you, Scrumpy. Scrumpy. Scrumpy with the 15. Getting Thanks, scrumpy man. With Thank it. You. He's getting scrumpy with it. Did you, uh, did you get the deer? No, it ran away. It's actually over. It's actually over. We can, we can get more on our way here. I need to eat food to increase my. My vril, aka my energy. Your vril. My vril, yeah. This is extremely vril. Where are the sauna and rat edits? Real we need more sauna and rat edits in this game. Mm. Those have been coming back lately. I'm seeing more vaporwave Hitler stuff on Twitter. Dude, nonstop now. I see coming it all back the time. in a big way. <laughs> The vaporwave Hitler posting is coming back in a big way. It's often like really funny. Like yeah. the they're this, they're, they're the, doing weird edits. There's this one picture yeah. I keep seeing of George Floyd swimming underwater in a pool. I think it's like an AI thing, like AI art. But he's yeah. like, it looks like the Nirvana like Nevermind cover, but it's George Floyd. <laughs> <laughs> I've been seeing that one in the edits a lot. It's crazy. <laughs> I keep seeing uh like like uh esoteric like Hitler stuff with um oh what kind of animal is that? I keep I keep seeing like like uh the memeing like aliens into it. Yes, like, a lot like, of that. Uh, like the Nazis next to spaceships and shit. It's mm -hmm. really funny. Yeah, they're into that uh the weird like occultism stuff. There's a lot of weird lore going on with the the Nazis, like post World War II at the end of the war. Research stuff, strange doctors. Oh, I got some meat over here. I can't pick up any, but you can pick it oh, up. Oh, you got some booty. Pull up. Yeah, I got some fresh meat for you, bro. There should be three. There's one in the snow. I'm standing on it. There's two on the body. I'm on my way. My guy is like panting and wheezing. He sounds like me after doing one curl. The last style says the name is esoteric hyperborean edits. That's yeah, that is what it's called. Which makes me eat it. Oh, you're just eating it straight. Can I just pick it up? Oh, yeah, tap it. Don't hold it. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah. I think I just need it. I think one. it's over. There's one right here. Is gonna let me? But... If you just press it, you see it right here on me. Well, I see. I see where it is, but I'm trying to. There's no uh, e popping up for some reason. Maybe my inventory. Oh, full. oh shh, that scared the frick out of me. Uh, if your inventory is full, that means you got maximum meat on you. Looks like I only have one when, rabbit. Maybe you have to. It's it's like a multiplayer bug since you didn't hunt the animal. You're not seeing the meat. Well, I do see the meat. It just I don't see the e thing, unfortunately. Yeah. Strange. We'll find some Thanks. more deer on our way back to base always optimistic jet always optimistic always thinking about the next good thing that could happen you know well, i'm saying yeah, it's look. over you're saying we're back dude it's true look look what i found i i go for the baby deer on the left you get the one on the right all right sick him oh man this one's kind of fast is that like why is he right? so fast Come on. oh it's so over i'm just gonna chase him forever <laughs> yeah dude why is this one fast so fast god we need guns consistently 30 steps ahead of me yeah we See, lose never mind oh no no <laughs> what happened what happened? i almost had it but it oh uh come on you little piece of shit <laughs> you hoof rat on. we can team up on this one deer are you with me it's coming into this yeah. camp maybe if we oh. like oh shit. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Come on. Oh, oh, oh. Wait, you hit it. You hit it. I hit it once. This camp probably... Yeah, this camp has cannibals. We gotta we gotta loot this camp, too. Um, I'm gaining on it. I'm gaining on it. I wish I can get around. Oh! Camp. Oh, my God! Did you get it? Dude, the deer led me right into, like, a huge cannibal. You see? Back oh, up, back up. Yeah, he's, he's... Whoa! No, no, no! Oh! He's bad! He's bad! <laughs> he has a club. Out. He's like Tarzan. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Trevor Smith. Welcome to Freak Monster Nasty. <laughs> Where the f*** is the deer? He f***ed us. Uh, yeah, we're... we're Oh, right, he's mad! It. He's actually mad, dude! Alright, I'm gonna loot the camp ASAP. I'm just gonna grab everything I'm on the ground. I'm gonna try to distract him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Watch out, there's more next to you. Just grab everything in the boxes. The guy is, he's, he's over there. He's like lumbering. Oh my god. He's so tall. He's like 13 feet tall. There's oh, another getting... one, dude. You gotta go, you gotta go, you gotta go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, got, we gotta go. I need my spears back. Oh, oh. He almost hit me. Yeah, we gotta, just run, just run, just run. I'm looting. Run! We got everything? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just go for it. Oh, he's, he's still mad. He's still mad. Yeah, 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 he's yeah. He's yeah, yeah. We... <laughs> angry. He's raging, dude. I, I he's think sweaty. we can outrun. I think we got this. Holy sh**.
This game is fun. This is a good uh, good idea to play. Yeah, bro. Do you like it? Yeah, it's good. It's good. Yeah. It gets, once you get the hang of it more and you, like, know more about it, it gets better. With friends, oh, the really dude, the snow tracks, too? Oh, he's right behind you. Oh, oh he's so wide. <laughs> yeah, Why run, is run, run. he mad? He if you hit the river, we can, like, they're, they're not confident in the water. We just got to get across the river. All right. All right. This is a good time Usain for Bolt mode on this one. Uh, bro Fisher with the 10. Thank you, bro. He says, hey, Turkey. Hey, Jet. You guys should watch uh, the Owen Benjamin doc by Porcelain. Owen is my favorite Slurpin' Turpin content creator. Do you know seen, about Owen Benjamin? I do. I've seen oh, all the Porcelain videos as well. They're great. He's awesome. I've not seen that. What is that about? Uh, por por based? So Porcelain, Porcelain is like a documentary type guy, kind of like on my, yeah. kind of like my kind of uh, area of the internet a little bit, but he's a little more like based, quote unquote. He did one of the first like docs about Sam, actually. Sam did an interview with really? him back in the day, like two, three years ago, maybe four. Yeah. Um, but that video is great. I think it's called Blacklisted. <laughs> Is uh, the one the one about Sam, but he did a bunch of them. He did one on this guy named Mersh, I think. Um, so he so Porcelain did a documentary on Owen Benjamin. Is yeah, yeah. One? He did one on Baked Alaska as well. That was good. Um, yeah, yeah. He he, did, he does some pretty good stuff. Highly recommend it. Highly recommend it. I used to watch Owen Benjamin back in the day. Oh really? To, yeah, yeah. I liked his um. I liked his like more kind of educational stuff, like when mm -hmm. he was talking about like the moon landing and. Sh I agree with Owen on certain things. There's a movie I've been recommended about the moon landing I haven't seen. About uh, it's about it's a movie about the conspiracy that uh, conspiracy yeah. Kubrick like directed the moon landing or whatever. Um, yeah, it's from this director who made this really good school shooting movie called The Dirties, um, which is like uh, it's supposed to be like a found footage film is the way it's shot. Yeah, of like this kid who ends up being a school shooter. Um, and it's really really well done. It's really funny. It was released around the time that The Dark Knight was released, so the guy in the, oh, the main shit. character is doing like uh like. Bane like impressions and stuff. He's pretty really? funny. It's, uh, it's a it's a it's a good movie if you have the time. It's pretty short too. It's a good watch. What's it called again? The Dirties. The Dirties. Yeah, it's Kino. Kino. Kino content. Guys, Kino recommendation. Oh. F just Lotan said that Sam interview was awesome and true. Yeah. Shigglypuff's main said any true cells in chat. Lots of true cells in chat. Undoubtedly. Undoubtedly, my whole chat is full of true cells. <laughs> Only true okay. cells in my chat. Uh, once again, Trevor Smith, thank you for joining. We have Aramena. No, hold on. Let me get, let me get your name right. Arm, arm, and army, and our arm three NRA. Welcome to Severe Beast. Thank you for joining. Uh, Patrick Gonzalez says Fast Wave never dies at yay in the chat. I don't know, man. I'm not fully with the Fast Wave. I'm with it in an ironic sense i think it's like funny to edit uh nazi uh soldiers next to like um next to <laughs> uh ufos and spaceships i think it's like super absurd and funny but uh hey i won't i won't shit on your parade man like the stream like the stream guys pretty pleased will you like it it does help okay Here, here's what here's what i need you guys to do first you're watching this click like okay you can hear my voice on both streams no matter what stream you're on just press the button all right mr beast personally told me uh on he we have contact through proton mail um he told me that likes actually do matter and if you click it you know we just keep getting better mr beast so, told me you. for everyone who likes a video on the sam and hide sam hide clips channel they will instantly yeah. be entered into a raffle to be in the next mr beast video to the factor exactly. of 10 even above the down syndrome kids okay you'll have a higher chance than the down syndrome kids of getting a mr beast video you got to like you gotta like <laughs> you gotta like and for every like you do is 10 entries into our bitcoin raffle and guys these bitcoin raffles have been changing lives since we've been doing them oh uh i saw do you remember when everyone was saying that mr beast was the antichrist yes on, on 4chan yeah that started on 4chan because I, I saw it on twitter i mean I've, i just haven't browsed 4chan so i don't know where things originate anymore but i saw a lot of that on twitter claiming that mr beast is the antichrist is so insane yeah i saw that that was like at the same time as like the blindness video came out yeah yeah that so was, was like his like, name is mr beast he's curing miracles <laughs> literally that that yeah. pissed me off so bad for some reason i found the i found the antichrist stuff more funny i was just like whatever i found the the people being mad at him for carrying blindness i was like pretty mad at though those people suck dude i think there was a lot of overlap between those two opinions you think so so? i think that that's no i think that that's why they were calling them the antichrist is because of that thumbnail oh okay just a lot of hater energy a lot of hater yeah, energy going yeah. around I'll defend Mr. Beast with my last dying breath. Uh, Liver Kangs with a 15 Canadian hey Jet. What flavor of silver are you stacking these days? I just bought a one kilogram bar this week. Less than 10% of my net worth is in precious metals, but been adding to the stack ever since getting a better paying job. Well, uh, what flavor? Uh, silver flavor, first of all. But um, I, as far as different flavors, you know, 
I would say, I would replace the word flavor with denominations. I would say, uh, if you're getting one kilogram, you should also be getting a roll of uh, Mercury Dimes, diversifying and not just your investments, but uh, the denominations in which you're holding it. If you're a silver guy, if you're not, then just you can uh, open Flappy Bird for the next 30 seconds. I promise I'll make this quick. But uh, a lot of the audience here is stacking silver as I am. I would say just get, um, try to get all different denominations. If Don't only get big bars. Uh, get small ones too. They're less exciting and they're less cool to hold. Um, but you need you need the one ounce coins. You need the generic rounds. Just uh, get get generic. Don't get any numismatic value. Just get the get the cheap. Get it as cheap as possible. And uh, just you know one ounce at a time. Just stack it up. I think uh, with consistency. Uh, given you know as the market changes, it'll it'll work well for us. But that's good to hear that you got that kilogram, man. I wish I had a kilogram in my hand. Uh, Moist John with a ten. Have you seen the Trump AI voice talking about the Mr. Beast stuff? No, I haven't seen that one. But I've seen a couple. I've seen have you seen the gamer one song? Yes. Trump and awesome. Obama gaming. Those are awesome. <laughs> I saw one that was like Trump Obama. Obama, Bush, and Biden all in like an Xbox Live lobby, like consoling each other over like Biden getting old. It was pretty funny. Yeah. Uh, my favorite one so far has to be when they were playing Black Ops Zombies. Yes. Could you oh, come hit the yeah. bed real quick? Yeah, so yeah, sleep yeah. Through the night? Way. CB Applejack said, you can edit Nazi soldiers next to Ukrainian soldiers, but then you don't have to edit because they are already Nazis. <laughs> are you a, so are you a, are you a Russia stand, bro? You asking me or no? No, this guy in chat. I'm asking. Oh yeah. This guy in chat that's donating. He told he came on stream and he told me a story about how he like uh, he lived in New York and he yeah. like was in a gang and he like shot someone and then ran to Massachusetts and then got caught and got put in jail for a few years and how he lives in Ohio and he's like it's so much better. It's green and. He told me his whole like life story of going from organized crime to living in Ohio and like smelling getting trees. away with it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And he... And he got away with it. Yeah. Ohio's beautiful this time of year. Yeah. Lots of smoke clouds. Lots of train derailments. <laughs> beautiful. Yeah, that's, that's so crazy, man. Just like shooting someone and leaving is insane is that chat i don't know it's um, definitely insane i feel like it's kind of cool I feel like it, <laughs> yeah. it could be, if you don't kill them i feel like it could be cool yeah you shoot them in the leg and then you just go to another you state lethally injure them yeah there's a scene oh, in winter's over. where uh this guy's like have you seen sopranos yeah i love it love it to death the the scene the scene where chris he like goes uh to like the it's like season one and he goes to like the pastry shop and it takes forever and he gets so mad he like shoots the guy's foot it's like, you're gonna call yeah. me a pussy? The idea of like shooting someone in the foot over like uh, a cannoli is so funny to me. That I need to start doing that. That was like a genius, I think that was first episode. That was like a genius scene to put in the first episode. Was it? It was It was definitely yeah. in the first few. It was a great, yeah. great scene. That show's so it just funny. just shows you what the show's gonna be about, yeah. The show's awesome. I'm rewatching it right now. I forgot how funny it was, especially in the beginning. Like uh, the scene where Ju like they, they find out Junior eats pussy and he gets yeah. really mad. So he, uh, he pies the girl in the face. Yeah. So awesome, dude. Like, that's supposed to be embarrassing. I know. But it, it, is, it is like, like I feel like I want to do that now. Like, if someone talks, like, I'm going to yeah. pie their face with, like, a real pie. Not like yeah. one of these, like, you know. People people put shaving cream in a plate, call it a pie. No, I mean a real pie. Yeah, yeah. real Authentic pie, real sugar. Real sugar, real pie. It actually real tastes pieces. good when it hits your face. It does. You're almost not mad. Throwing spears might be the real meta. Yeah, but then you lose them. You just, when you throw it, just make sure you're going to hit what you're throwing it at. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah, I just lost it. Yep. <laughs> oh wait, I found it. I found it. Wait, this is just a stick. <laughs> throwing, throwing sticks is the meta. Throwing sticks is the meta. I got some tape if you want to make some more spears. I just got some. I may have some tape. Let me see. My inventory is glitching again. That's messed up. Try to keep me down. Someone said Sopranos is the one in the wire. Are both really great. I've only seen a little of the wire, but it was good. I started watching the wire and I got to like, this is recently. I got to like season, um, four or five or something. And then I just kind of gave up. It was cool. It's a good show. I just, uh, I don't know. I wanted to see some, um, the last of us came out. I wanted to watch that. I just gave up on it. Is that show good? Um, if you, have you played The Last of Us? Mm, no. Okay, then you're in the market for liking the show because it's a one-to-one -one reinterpretation of the game. Oh, I okay. like the game enough to where it's like very faithful. It's like the, the only video game show that I've seen that's good. Like we can name a thousand video game shows that are just like embarrassing and terrible. No, yeah. But it's actually, it's actually good. It's actually good. Gotcha. There, there's a really uh, like super gay scene that's like uh, for a straight person to watch it, it's kind of like painfully gay, but it's really, it's kind of funny. And it has the guy from um, Parks and Rec, Nick Nick Offerman or whatever. Mm -hmm. And he's like a butch bear gay dude in the scene. It's insane. That sounds good. Yeah, I, I know of this scene because I saw some people kind of. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, was, I wasn't, I th honestly thought it was going to be worse, but uh, it was just funny to see him play like a gay bear. Yo, I have to. 
Chat, what out. have you been watching? What's up with you, chat? Chat, what have you been watching? Chat, chat what have you been watching? What, what kind of porn have this chat been watching? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Chat, show me your uh, search history. What's your rule 34 these days? What kind of R34 you guys been getting into? Oh, dope. Base, chat. Base. Wow. Um, okay, I have a... Oh, they're raiding our base. Yeah, I see them. I see them. Oh my god. They're really mad, though. There's a lot of them. There's, like, a tall one. There's oh, a... sh... Like the t there's like a I'm tall, on scary the one. Oh, no. oh my god! I'm gonna die. I gotta retreat and heal. How did they get in? Did they just spawn in here? I don't know. They're, they'll like destroy our base if we don't kill them. They will? Alright, I'm gonna try to spear one. I stuck it in him and he's still up. He does not seem to care. Yeah, oh! it takes several. It went through him. He seems indifferent to that. He seems unfazed, so that's good. I have some arrows. Oh, he's, he's eating his friend. Ow! Oh. Yeah, watch out, watch out. I said oh, that like he, it really hurt hit me. me. Yeah, it does. It does hurt a little bit. Oh, dude, how is he still standing? This is insane. He's a big guy. For you. For you. Ow. Is it over? It's over. Can I heal you? Nope. You two hit me. That's it. Well, he's dead. But so are you. For you. They took time from us. For the eighth time no! in one hour, he died. The pain still as fresh as the first. Remember what they took from us. It took Tom. It took Turkey Tom. <laughs> Rich, Rich Vern to Turkey Tom. Turkey Tom has fallen. Billions must be educated. We have to bring the pain to them. We gotta go raid their camp now for retribution and punishment. Yeah, sure. Are they trying to break down the wall? Oh, freaks. Freaks. Total freaks, these guys. I'm just trying to reinforce the wall so uh, spikes do most of the killing and we don't have to touch these guys so much. What music have you been listening to recently, Jet? What have you been on? Um, I've been listening to a lot of Skrillex in my head, and that's not a joke. I have not played a Skrillex song out loud, but I've been listening to a ton of Skrillex in my head, like, schizophrenically. Did and you hear the skrillex Blade E collab? No, but I've heard it's actually really good. I've heard it's, like, some high art shit. Apparently. It was alright. It was cool, actually. Yeah. I liked it. I, um, I've been listening to, uh, so there was this whole genre of, like, dance music from, like, ten years ago that was, like, a female singer accompanied by, like, uh, like an, ele like an electronica kind of artist, like a dubstep guy. Oh, yeah. So, like, uh, I've been listening to, like, Z like, Zed featuring, like, Foxes, or Zed featuring, like, um, whatever the girl, Haley Williams, I've been listening oh, yeah. to uh, I've been listening to Ellie Goulding and Calvin Harris. Oh yeah, bro. I'm listening to that. Um, I've been listening to. I've Katie also Perry. been on an electronic kick. Have been you listening to Katy? Yeah, I've yeah. To, I've been... Yeah, Katy Perry. Not even joking. Katy Perry and Lady Gaga. So I've been listening to. I've been um been going to raves. Yeah, I saw you tweeting. You were like, "Does anyone in Providence want to listen to electronic music in the corner with me at a club?" Like standing. I was around dead ass. Did oh, anyone we're, take we're, you up or? No, and if they did, I would have probably not. Uh oh. That was just my way of saying I'm. I'm going to a raid. Yeah, I'm cool, guys. Dude, there, there's so many. Tom, we're getting raided. Is it over? No, nah, it's only just beginning. Someone's playing like drill. You've been listening to drill? No, someone's playing drill in the game on like this thing, whatever. Like in the, from the boombox or yeah, on VoIP? From the boombox. Oh yeah. Um, no, but yeah, lots of. I'm listening to Last Friday Night by Katy Perry every day. That's crazy. It's been. It's been my. Sh that's a ballsy move. <laughs> that is a ballsy move. Believe me, I, I understand that. Uh, people see my Spotify status and they're on me. Call me Last Friday, persevere. I do it all again. That song's so good. So. That's kind of a hit. Yeah, I can't even hate on that, man. Kind of a hit, man. I can't. I can't be a hater. They're so small. Dude, I can't even hit them. Breachers are so messed up, man. Creatures. There's a type of uh, cannibal called a breacher. Oh. And they're just big and red, and they just like run into your wall over and over again. Are they known for breaching? Yeah, they breach. They breach. They breach and clear. Breaching. Tom, you want an earworm, Material Girl by Madonna? I thought that was a. Uh, is that a Madonna song? I thought that was someone else's from the '80s. I found some deer, but they're too fast for me. Yeah, and we need bows. Really we want to make it happen. Tom, there's a severe minor activity in your sever. Don't know what that means, but thank you for letting me know. <laughs> Thanks for letting me keep me posted. Thank you for keeping me up to date. You guys always always keep me on top of things with current events on the severe minor activity in my sever. <laughs> thank you for the minor update. Thank you for the minor update. <laughs> Dude, they're hitting us hard, bro. They're Someone coming Someone said, strong. wrap your stick in cloth, torch the cannibals. Is that real? Is that possible? I think it is, yeah. I'm going to have to do that. I think that's, a, that's a strat. Oh, dude, he just got bodied. I've been hungry for like 10 years in this game. Come back to, uh, are you at base? I am, yeah. You see all these cannibals running around just knocking over, just being dicks? I do, they suck. <laughs> yeah. They run Chase away, too. Down. They're pussies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they know, like, running is part of the meta, bro. They'll bait you over to, like, other troops. They suck. 
part oh, of the meta. Oh, got one down. <laughs> yeah. I like that's how we talk now, part of the meta. The meta game. Yeah. That's like that word is stuck in my vocabulary. There's nothing I can it's do about it. too. From our friend Brendan N of Psychiatry and Cun, Alingus brought us to this. How so, man? Well, maybe this isn't that bad. Have you considered that, Brendan? If Psychiatry and Cunnilingus brought us this far, then maybe we should be doing a little more, at least one of those. Enough, you know what I'm pussy saying? Eating. No more pussy eating, okay? No more of that. We had enough. No more eating pussy. No more talking about pussy. It's, uh, it is a little emasculating. Is that it's, OD? It's, it's unbecoming. It's unbecoming. It's improper. I'm it's, unbecoming. It's little... I'm, I'm unbecoming. When I eat pussy, I'm, I'm unbecoming. I'm unbecoming. I'm unbecoming. <laughs> Yeah, the song was. Uh, you, you found the hidden meaning to the song. It was. He was about eating pussy the whole time and how it degrades yeah. your man. Yep. Can you eat spiders? There's all these huge spider webs. Why would you want to eat a spider, bro? Well, I'm really hungry in the game. <laughs> and the webs are big, so. And they look delicious. And I look at their f ripe ass. And I think, what a, yeah. I want to eat their abdomen. I want to eat this arachnid like, abdomen. Yeah. I mean, you can do anything you put your mind to, honestly. Well, uh, serious answer? No, you can't eat the, uh, the spiders. In real life, I, I try. I, I only know that because I, I literally tried tried to figure it out. Like, how do I eat these things? There's something you can't do in the game, but you can do in real life. Yeah. The game fell short of that one. Bad realism. I'm actually deathly afraid of spiders. It's like my worst fear. Really? Yeah, I really don't like them. They really freak me out. Other bugs don't as much. Something about them, they just look, they look like they're from hell. There's like eight limbs. Like they're very, they move really fast. Like you can't really. Yeah. I can't it's really hard to get a beat on them. Motion. Yeah. My problem is I just can't tell what they're thinking. <laughs> and that intimidates me. With mosquitoes, you can, you can tell easily. You can just yeah, you can them. read right through their game plan. Yeah. yeah. You know, I know their, I know their end game. You hear the little bzzz, you know, they tell you what's up. But with the spiders, they're silent. They don't make any noise. Yeah. And it's hard to trust them. My friend who lives in uh, Florida, lives in Gainesville, he was telling me that uh, at night they have decent silence have spiders and they're big enough that you can hear them tapping on the wall when they walk kind of scary oh my god i went down there to visit them and thankfully i didn't see any of them but i just heard someone screaming bloody murder yeah i heard that too I'm going to come out there and just make sure that whoever made that noise is dead. Nice and deep in the woods right now. Oh, I think I found a camp. Oh, there's a there's a disgusting skin thing. Oh, I'm coming. What Actually, about, let me take, let me take a leak real quick and then I'm coming. Should I stay away from I, the I skin thing? Probably just wait for me to pee. I'll make it super quick and I won't wash my hands. Okay, okay. Oh, what the f There's some terrifying sh here, guys. I got to get away. There's a there's a scary scary creature over there. It's like four people put in one. <sighs> Yo, Jet. Right. I didn't wash my hands and my camera's down. Dude, there's a new thing that I just saw that's f***ing terrifying. It looks like a spider what? made out of human limbs. It's like four oh. people morphed into one. Wait, for real? Those it goes, are... it goes oh, fast. No. It's really scary. It's That's that's bad that those are spawning. It's, uh, oh, it's at this camp thing in like a bush. It's not really coming after me right now because I'm far enough away from it. But there's this camp is just full of freaky sh not one normal person. Okay, let's... There's also like this anorexic right. cutter girl tied to a tree with her head shaved. Yeah. Like, there's just a it's lot of... Really in this game. Let me hit this super chat and I'm coming. Mo, 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 mo with the 15. Next time, think about licking the dugout. Uh, stinky sweat basketball dugout benches and toilet seats. Yeah, man. Well, the thing is, the thing about germs and, uh, oh, I just ate two pills on accident. Wait, has the whole time my stream been off center? That's highly embarrassing, actually. That's really embarrassing. Freaky oh, shit. and I'm getting attacked? Okay, whatever. I'm coming, You're bro. You're bad because you didn't wash your hands. Oh, dude, I, I can't wash. Dude, there's Tom found a camp chat why am i supposed to how i'm not gonna wash my hand tom found a camp full of crazy mutant cannibals bro i have to get back to my game there's no time okay I don't know where they went it looks hit... like a lot of them dissipated i can't seem to find the weirdest one now did they just run off in the woods i don't know i i saw it crawling around in the bushes maybe it's still around somewhere but oh i see one Oh, you see it? There's this yeah, thing. Yeah, this one was howling yeah there's that thing but there's a, there, there was this other thing that looks like four of him put together oh shit Behind! Oh, dude, we're, these are like the hard mode enemies, so I'm not gonna lie. These are, are they? They look like... Oh, yeah, that yeah, thing. Yeah. yeah, there's that thing, and then there's another thing. There's another worse Bro, thing. Bro, this is crazy that these are spawning now. There's a far worse thing that, like, is it... Oh, it's in the woods right over there. I see yeah, it, Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna back up and craft Molotovs. Don't try not to die. Uh, maybe... If, oh, yeah. <laughs> Perfect time. Good one. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm getting the grenades, dude. I'm not with these guys. I got the grenades. I'm ready to go. Looks like washing is cringe. Yeah, I wash my hands with uh, the stuff between my teeth, my ass. Yeah, nice. yeah. Natural. Guys, germs are, like Momo Mo said, germs are probiotic. If you have a chance to lick a bench, public bench, a uh, public government worker's hands, you need to take that chance because it's going to boost your immune system. If you have a chance to chew some gum that you find on the street. Yeah. First of all, that's an opportunity. There's still some flavor that was wasted, probably, so get it out. 
Life is about making good decisions at the split second moments, you know? They're playing like oh. some banger music in this, uh, this camp. In the camp? Thing. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh sh. We can get some armor off these guys if we kill them. Oh! They're all dead. Hey Tom, what do you think of this game, Buy or Skip? Uh, if you're good at video games, you'll probably like it. I'm enjoying it as someone who's bad at video games, so. Uh, you should it's, probably play uh, it. Yeah, whoever just asked that, maybe if you have any friends, try playing with some friends. It's really fun um, co-op. But even single player, one cool thing they did about this game is they added an AI companion that you can get to, like, you can go send them out and uh, he'll, like, farm materials for you. So that's kind of helpful. Even if you don't have any friends to play with, they've kind of made the game... Uh, a little easier for you, which I, I I think that's cool. I spawned in like a crazy camp full of them with like arm. Uh, really? Yeah, they, they they all have like they're decked out. Do you want me to come to you? Uh, you can if you want. I, yeah, I'm, I just cleared this camp. I'm coming. I'm to starting you. to slink back a little bit. I'm just trying to take as much as I can. Not piss them off. They have like eight radios around the circle, all playing different music. Yeah, I don't know why they do that. They really just like to torture themselves. Uh, Anon with the 15 says, eight getting lost, eight dangerous creatures, eight bleeding. Love Turkey Tom, love Jet, love World Peace 2. Not gay, just love them. Oh man, if you were, you still get the pass, man. I don't know if there's anything wrong with that. Hey, if you were, you're still my personal best friend that I tell my secrets to. All right, but uh, thank you for the support, dude. Thank you for uh, everybody who's enjoying this right now and, and being calm and cool and treating Tom with respect. I really appreciate it, man. I do appreciate it. You nice. know, sometimes you go on live streams and you get some from the audience. I went on Brittany Venti's stream and there were a bunch of people. Like, oh, oh, of Why course. Why'd you say this mean thing about my favorite YouTuber? But I'm glad to see yeah. that your audience is. Well, this audience it. doesn't care about like drama and. Sh and they, they don't. Oh my god, you weren't lying. No, no there's they're, so they're... many. Oh, I'll come help you. Oh, up. he's got like armor made out of arms. I know. Oh my god. Dude, he's such a beast. He's a severe beast. Guys, join Severe Beast. Oh, yeah, they're playing like trap music. I know. <laughs> they play New York Drill. They got Pop Smoke playing out the. <laughs> Dude. Oh, I'm out of stamina. So, Saventi is cool. Yeah, I like Brittany, but uh, her yeah. audience just, they were not cool with me at that moment. Not all of them. They, some of them were nice, but some of them were like... Just like... Well, even if like... Cancelled Pyrocynical? Don't you feel bad? And I think I got... I like... In retaliation to someone saying that I cancelled you, I was like, I'm gonna cancel you by doxing where you live. And uh, they got really mad at that. But yeah, yeah, I could imagine they wouldn't like that. Is there any more? Yeah, there's one over there. This is uh, copyrighted music. We gotta eliminate this for the stream. Stab the music boxes. Oh, uh, woman! Oh, Here he is. Here's woman. This, there's, this, there's this guy over there. Oh, she's running! <laughs> Nice dress, though. Hemorrhoids destroyed again! Oh, wait, yeah. I don't... Let's get him out of the bushes. He's gonna He's destroy us. Way, Is he? He's on this rock. all his friends. Ow! Mother... Are you kidding me? One hit? One hit? Oh, yeah, one hit. Am I this weak in game? It would take more than one hit in real life now that I'm weightless. Yeah. Now that I <laughs> yeah. work out. Now that I'm yoked. Now that I'm a chat. Oh, I can res you. I can res you. You're back. Oh, We're still back. No, that was real. Yeah, I didn't either. This is the first time I've done that. Damn! Guys! We did it. It's actually it's not over. Power of teamwork. We're blue. Now we just loot the boxes. If you find any uh, medicine pills, you can you can take the pills to get your gotcha. full health back. Let's see what's in my inventory. I have a lot of batteries. I have some nine millimeter ammo. I have an MRE beans. That'll get your health up too. What do I do? If with you canned, break canned food, what is that? Uh, I think you combine it with a knife and then you can eat it. Maybe that's just a guess. Okay. I haven't done that, but that. maybe uh, you can just eat it raw. Tried that too, didn't work. Maybe we gotta combine it with some uh, tortillas. To oh, taco. the can you combine it with the can opener. I'm not sure oh, if you have that. Oh, that would make sense to open a can. Oh, and I'm, I'm eating it. Cat food? Oh, it's cat food. Same. Mm. I'm cat food maxing. Amazing. Uh, we're maxing. moving on to cat food Arm, meta. Arm 3 NRA. Uh, how hard would this game be? How hard would this game would have been canceled if they made Kevin Black? <laughs> I uh, can't wait for Black Kevin mod so I can relive the, uh, it's Armenra, by the way. Well, thank you for the clarification. Guys, for optics reasons, the only the only player that has to be white is Kevin because it would just be, oh, someone gave her a, an outfit. Yeah, she's dancing, actually. That's Bro, right. she's so hot, man. That's yeah, dude, you're really lucky, man. man. You're really lucky, you know, she's a great girl. She has your best interest at heart. She looks like she's 5'11", which is good. Yeah, she's wearing she towers over me. She towers over me, I'm 5'1", so. 
I like to call one of her pant legs is ripped though. I don't know what's going on there. She's showing off that one. Why are there? Wait, why does she, I forgot she has multiple arms? Yeah, and multiple Look, legs. If, if you find um, there's more coming soon. Uh, if you sorry, I'm autistic. I have to turn the music. Uh, if you give her a shotgun, she can hold the shotgun in two arms, and then you give her the pistol, and she holds the pistol in her third. You shoot two guns at once. How do you give them hurt. multiple arms? Is that um, no? She just starts with them. She's just born that way. Really? Yeah. In the game? Is it? Is it a glitch? Yeah. No, no. That's that's how she's designed. You run into her randomly, and when I first saw her, she was such an abomination and creepy that I instantly killed her, you know, to do a solid for God. <laughs> it was not love at first but, uh, sight. Yeah, it, it turns out she's very useful, like a really cool companion. She's a she's a great girl. You know, you, you come across a girl with three arms, you think maybe, you know, I don't know what's going on here, but she's a great girl. Like God made her special so I could, uh, you know, take care of her. I killed a bird, but it didn't give me anything. You can get feathers. Oh, oh, I killed a bird. I killed it again. <laughs> I'm going to blow my nose right into the microphone for everyone to hear, guys. Here yeah, we go. let's do that. <coughs> I think my brain came out. Mm. I've not been looking at the YouTube dashboard at all. One second, guys. But you Chat, know it's good. nose blowing went a little crazy today. How do you like streaming? Uh, it's fun. It's fun enough that I think that I, um, want to dedicate more than I can justify right now. Yeah. I like it a lot. Just like talking to people, talking shit. Interacting with chat on live stream. Um, it's been a lot of fun. Yeah, I thought I, I thought I wouldn't like it or something But it turns out it's it's actually a really good time. It's super fun. Yeah. Yeah, especially yeah. Uh, once in a while I'll do like a collab stream like this one and it's uh, yeah, it's always nice just to mix it up Yeah, I've been doing uh to kind of get the normal audience more interested in the streams I've been doing like drama streams where I like have a docket and go over a bunch of yeah, and um, those have been going well. I did one the other day, and I had I had pretty decent viewers. I had like twelve hundred live, um, and I noticed the more I do those consistently, the more people trickle into the other streams. So it's been yeah, uh, a. Yeah. I feel like as far as the video essay stuff, I don't want to say I've mastered it, but I've gotten pretty good at it. And the yeah. streaming thing is like starting from the ground floor, like figuring it out. So it's been fun. It's kind of exciting to start new at something, mm -hmm. and streaming is like kind of a new adventure. So it's like oh, yeah, it's cool to like start over at something. Yeah, you guys' streams have been going really well. The um, the Sam gaming streams are obviously going good, but the the house streaming with uh with Nick, yeah, that stuff yeah. has been. I I mean, I get a lot of YouTubers that I know personally telling me about that stuff. They're like, this, this is like the best thing on on the internet right now. Really? Yeah. That's yeah. Fucking, See, seriously, seriously. That's you, literally like heartwarming. And you guys should be uh, flattered about how many yeah. people care about those streams. That's awesome. I um I, I like uh wavy web surf joins in Kino will join in like yes. a lot of a lot of the friends I have in the YouTube space so I know if they're tuning in uh, did you know the channel game cheat 13 mm -hmm. uh he watches actively which is crazy mm -hmm. uh, he's always in chat so a lot of people that I like looked up to are watching it now and it's just just kind of mind men the, yeah. my favorite thing about it is it's um the Nick format is like we can kind of push that to a newer audience like it's it's something that um most of the time with our content it's something you wouldn't put on the the widescreen in front of your girlfriend you know what i mean mm -hmm. or like uh like you wouldn't it's it's kind of like a private thing it's like in jokes and stuff but with that it's like so relatable because everyone everyone lives somewhere you know mm -hmm. everyone can look at a house and be like that's cool or that sucks or man i want to i want something like this someday so it's the most relatable topic man and uh people my favorite thing is when people like send in hey watching this with my wife love the stream like just small messages like that like people having like nor normal like sane family time mm -hmm. around the the content is like I don't know, man. Something about that tingles, tingles the brain. Oh, it's yeah. like, damn, we're doing something good. Though. I mean, I Nick is just uh, Nick. Nick is very, very normal. You know, he he is. You know, he has his own whatever. Yeah. Um, weird parts of him or whatever, like things you wouldn't expect. Like sometimes he'll talk about like like I'll be watching. You know, he'll bring up a reference that I'm like like he started talking about AFI and like music that I like and like goth and emo stuff. And I was like, what you're talking about? Dude, this? he know he knows mad, bro. He's like music wise, he has better taste. He doesn't only have good taste in furniture and um like home decor. He has good taste in like art and music too yeah so he like knows good music he knows better music than like me or you do it's it's kind of crazy yeah like you think you think music's like a young man's game like no he knows all like the cool indie bands it's exactly crazy yeah. there's there's weird things about him you learn when you watch like the podcast or watch those yeah. streams but then on the other hand like he's super relatable he's super relatable and he's super he's, yeah. he's super funny and he's not only funny in a way that like oh 1488 n-word right it's not just that he's also just like really funny at just like riffing on normal topics like realtors yeah. like coffee shops stuff like that yeah um, anything bro he's super, you give him any prompt funny. so um, good uh, it's it's cool to see him come to the forefront more and i'm sure chad agrees like the next streams are very special um it's just it's it's exciting for me to be a part 
part of and be to to see it happen because it's like I don't know, it's it's just a beautiful thing, man. Just seeing uh watching Nick kill at something, it's awesome. So good, yeah. He's he's great, and I hope uh. I expect you guys are breaking in some decent dosh from that too. I saw that you guys were like the second most super chatted besides Tim Pool in like a week. <laughs> yeah. um, Dude, we didn't even know that until I saw you tweet that. Like I had no idea that we yeah. were the second most super chatted YouTube channel. It was crazy. In like the past, uh, that was nuts. And you guys are probably going to get even more than Tim Pool eventually. Um, it's just uh, it's ni nice to see success stories all around. White building yeah, year yeah. so far. It's It's been a good year. Everything that's happened has been um, either crazy enough to like laugh at and not take too seriously or like really good for that, man. Mm. Addy with a Y says, you're still live? Crying emoji. What is that? Hey, man. What is that? Mean? She's sad. She's sad you're still alive. <laughs> she's sad. She's disturbed thoroughly that I'm still live streaming. Fuck How you. could you possibly still be alive? You do this to me. Yeah, we're doing it, guys. We're live. We're in the game. It's just because this game is too too good, man. Like, I just can't stop playing it. This game's really awesome. How long have I been live, actually? Um, let's see here. I've been live for almost four hours. Shit. Yeah, I'm actually probably yeah, gonna yeah. get off uh, in a minute here, but um, yeah, I was thinking the same thing like ten minutes ago. I was like, "What's the end game?" Oh, are you gonna get off, Oak? Uh soon enough. Yeah, yeah. Right, we well, can wrap it up here. Soon. I'm gonna right. I'm gonna raid you real quick, so we'll go over there. Um, All right, guys, you enjoy the stream? Go check out the Sam and Nick clips. What is the official name of the channel? Is it Sam's Sam clips? and Nick's Perfect Clips? Sam and Nick's Perfect it's Clips. Probably, yeah, yeah, yeah. Check it out. Uh, also, check out Jet ne Jet Neptune on Instagram and Twitter. Funny guy. He's next up dang, in my dang. opinion. You guys, uh, you may know him as the Sam Hyde kind of sidekick guy for now, but I promise you, he's gonna be, he's gonna be. But I also one of the make candles. People. He also makes candles. Shamanix, right? Shamanix <laughs> house. No, that was a joke, but yeah, oh, okay. I guess kind of I'm affiliated check, with that. Check, check out Shamanix. Um, but yeah, Jet, just a great guy. We've been friends for a little while now, and uh, he's, you, he's one of the kind of one of the cooler people on the internet. Makes some great content, makes some great tweets. So go check him out. Important stuff. Be excited for Fish Tank, and uh, oh man, yeah, for real. We're very excited. Big thing. Tremendous things. Big things are coming, guys. Right, like goodbye, the stream. Tom, Tom Dark stream. Randy yeah, man. Up. Have a great one. Thank you for joining me, by the way. Yeah, no worries. Thanks for having me on anytime. It was uh, it was a lot of fun. Um all right. All right. take care, buddy.